Hey everybody, how you all doing today? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Ah, right then, let's have a look. I just need to get a couple of things set up quickly. I need you. I need you going. Oh heck. And we'll do you as well. There we go. This looks fine to me. Super trooper trooper. Oh. Let's log into you, make sure you're working. You should be fine. And that should be fine as well. Okay. Hopefully, anyway. Right then. I'll drop you down. And let's jump into the game and see what's going on. Hey, so first things first, obviously, my farm is now still here. Hey, bad lad, how are you doing, bud? So, yep, we are. Well, pretty much the same place as I was last time. However, a little bit something different. I'm doing good, thanks you. So I'll see Mr. Darius will be hopefully jumping in in a second. And I can show a few things off. As you might be able to see, something slightly different today. Hmm, wonder what that could be then. I will let you know in a minute. So let me jump into Discord a sec and unmute myself there. My arm hurts from the booster. Yeah, mine was exactly the same. Um, also, I had some paracetamol, which did help, actually, bad lad. So I definitely recommend getting a couple of pills down your throat and giving that a go. Here we go. So let's jump into Discord quickly. Hey Matt, how you doing buddy? And there he is, this is Darius Frost coming in with 167 people. Wow, holy heck, that's amazing. Let me just do a quick shout out for Mr. Darius first of all, and then I'll jump in. And uh, duh. I really need to set somebody up as a moderator, additional one. Oh, there we go, there we go, is that him? I think so. Yep, obviously if you're not following Mr. Darius, which most of you should be by now, as you're all coming over. Um, where have you been, to be honest? But yeah, there we go. So that's um, John St Street. Thank you very much for the follow there. And Gad Zooks. Very much thank you as well. How are you all guys doing? Pompey, MacIver, uh, Tyus Major. Welcome, guys. Georgia Assassin Links. And Fussy Chicken. Cool. There we go. Right then, let's get this sound on. Hello, guys. How are you all doing? Oh, there oh boy, there you go. Here we well. go. Hey, Kill Mole, thank you very much for the follow. Badass, how are you doing, mate? Welcome. I am super impressed by how fast these guys recovered what's up there already. 60 yep. some mods. Wow, you guys are awesome. Yeah, they're, everyone is doing such a good job of getting the you back know, up You know, it needed mind. a clean up anyway. There's getting to be too, you know. Yeah, a bit clouded you know, places. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the opportunity to break up the Twitch and the YouTube streamers and have one mouse on there, Dave. Oh, that's true. Twitch and YouTube streamers. Yep. Uh, right then. Um, so, obviously, as you can see, obviously, I am still on the same farm. But there is something slightly different from, obviously, the last stream. Um, it's taken me a little while to sort it out. Obviously, um, if I zoom out a little bit. Yes, I am on Wolf Creek. Finally. So what I've yeah. done, I've actually gone through and transferred all my equipment and everything that I had on Elm Creek onto this map. You cheated. No, because I've got the same amount of money and everything. Actually, I've got a little bit less, to be honest. However, my grandfather, here we go, passed away, unfortunately. Oh, roleplay time. <laughs> and he lived just down the road. So I've also inherited a little area down here. So as you can now see, I've obviously got my original farm area, along with this bit here, and he also oh my th gosh, threw that in Billy, as well. I've been playing 140 <laughs> hours, and I don't have that much property. Well, to be honest, that is what I had on Elm Creek, <laughs> along with obviously a few bits around the outside. But obviously I've gained an extra farm to work off of. Good old, oh, poor old grandpa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, well, I don't remember that land to the right being on Elm Creek. Uh, this one over here. 
but I did have uh, that was an inherited inheritance that was where as well. Lived. Obviously, oh, that was inherited. Okay. Yeah, yeah obviously, I, I that was the land my grandfather used to play um work on. Kind of obviously, from his house, huh? And and obviously, I had a little bit of money. Well, not because his house was down here. He lived on the land. Bless him. Um, oh, okay. And obviously, I also right. got a little bit of a money inheritance as well. <clears throat> and obviously, I bought this land up here. Well, everyone else is cheating. Why can't I? <laughs> hey, Zarefruit <laughs> Cowboy. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Check, Just Mike. See it that way. I know. Okay. So, yeah. But it has taken me a heck of a lot to get this farm looking almost like um, how it was on Elm Creek. The biggest issue was obviously the trees, but thanks to some amazing modders out there. Um, obviously, on the in-game mod hub, there is the more trees... Um, mod now so i was actually able to do a bit extra landscaping to get the trees and stuff in it's slightly different to what it was but obviously it looks pretty good i think personally for me also you got the main farm up there and then obviously coming around to where all the animals are also got all the cows sheep chickens and everything up and running um i've got the greenhouses the area's slightly different let me just up this speed up because it's a bit slow around here Slightly different, they need to be um, water added to them to get them up and running. Uh, I've still got my chickens there. My bales need to be sorted out. Because I've literally just dumped them down. Um, hey, no problem, Tech Mike, that's not a problem. Um, yeah, see, that's the nice thing, obviously. If you're going from one map to another you can just transfer the money quite easily um, the, obviously as I was going from one map to another it was slightly harder to do um, personally that I found obviously I just tried doing the XMLs and I just got too many errors and issues so I've literally placed everything new down I have actually gone in through the vehicle XMLs and obviously adjusted to match with what the, I had previously so each piece of equipment has its own average and wear rate for the most part. Obviously, I did trade in the other Fen for the Black Beauty, which is quite nice. But apart from that, everything else is pretty much the same as it was on Elm Creek. Even got my um, sugar factory up and running, or kind of up and running. So, yeah, so this is going to be my new base on Wolf Creek. I'm just hoping Dave doesn't make us do a restart but we'll wait and see um, and thank you very much for those 10 bitties Matt much appreciated so obviously Darius was showing something off that I was playing with earlier and Nubionics thank you very much for the follow there um, what I've been doing with a little of Winston's help I'm not sure if he's out there I'm hoping so because obviously I think it'd be quite nice for him to see this as well um, so, if I'll be releasing this in a minute, I'll give you the, um, the link for it in chat, but when you download it, what you need to do is go into Tools and the PV Mods, and it's going to be the first one, and as you can see, it's this little thing right here, it's a bale wrapper for the SGA, it's a special edition one, obviously, it's just the in-game one, with a little bit of an edit to it. So, for the first thing, visually wise, obviously I've changed the box, so it actually says SGA wrap. On this, I'll show you a little something in a minute, the bells, so unfortunately I don't need to do any bells at the minute with this. But I'll bring up some pictures of exactly what it looks like when they're working. It works both on squares and round bells, okay? And each square of the bell is slightly different. Um, so with this... Obviously, I've added a few color options, as you can see, to the actual wrap itself. So you can have like um, just stand, box standard colors if you wanted to. Obviously, you've got your standard ones that you'd normally have. But then we'll get into like the metallics, um, your chrome colors, which are quite nice. Um, what else was there? There was matte colors, so you can just have a sort of bit of a boring color, but yeah. Then obviously all your in-game ones as well. And Wolfie, thank you very much for the subscription. How are you doing, bud? 
Oh, gifted by Matt. Thank you very much, Matt. So, obviously, you're going to have to change the wrap to any colour you want. So, I've just gone for chrome purple there, which is quite nice. So, let's go back in a little bit. Obviously, you're going to have a main colour that you can actually change. Just because NBC's in chat with us today. You can have a little metallic pink if you wanted to. Or any other colour in there. And while I was at it, I even threw in some rim colours as well, just here. And obviously there's your standard chrome. So that is going to be for you guys. Let me just switch screens a sec. Da -da 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 -da. Where are your desktop there? And I'll bring up my folder to show you guys exactly what the bales are going to look like. So obviously Darius did show this earlier so this is going to be a square bell with the sim game alliance on one side actually it's going to be on both sides of that so there's the, that one that obviously the other side is going to be upside down just where i wanted it set then you've got your round bales was it slightly off center but i'm pretty happy with how it's turned out overall and obviously that is going to be on oh wrong one both sides. I was going to say, you show me somebody that's going to put a big sticker like that on the end of the bale and get it in the exact center every time. It is very, very hard. Magician. Yeah, <laughs> it is really hard. But obviously, I am pretty happy with the placement of her anyway. Um, I was say, but yeah, yeah. That, that looks pretty good considering. Yeah. Obviously, I suppose it could have been moved. I could have spent but maybe 100 hours maybe just tweaking it, just get it in the right position. But I am happy with that. So yeah, there we go. So for any of you guys who want it right now, if you do exclamation mark wrapper in chat right now, you can actually download that for your pleasure, okay? But it's literally up to you guys. I will put it up on the SGA website. Actually, let me do it myself. Here you go, wrap. So there's the link for that, there we go. You can download that now and obviously you get so many different options there so enjoy and obviously you'll have the round logo on the round bales and the banner on obviously the square bales so there you go so that's my little new year's present to all of you guys i'm not going to do any more more than that's enough <laughs> there we go until the next one yeah until i figure out what next to do but Actually, I do know what I've got to do next, but I'm not even sure how to go about that yet. Um, <coughs> yeah, the pixels are nice. Thank you. Please. You're very welcome, fun, fuzzy chicken. Right then. So with that being said, I've got some bailing and stuff to do. But what I want to just do, actually, before I change screens, I'm going to get this Stream Raiders battle up and running. So a nice, easy one to start off with. Da -da 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 -da. And I go to the middle. You're very welcome, Kaibo Mike, as well, and Quacky Chan. Right. Let's drop that guy right there. So the link's in chat if any of you guys want to join in. Obviously, it is a 30-minute um, place, your soldiers and all that. Obviously, while you're doing that, and then I'll jump back to the game. Obviously, you've got the counter at the bottom of the screen, so we know how long we've got for till the battle. And why didn't I hear that go off? I have no idea. That's very interesting. But Matty, so thank you very much for the 15 bits there. Much appreciated. But yeah, that's weird why that didn't go off. Eh, strange. So, anyway. Let me... And there we go, straight away. So obviously I... Oh, Still haven't set up that giant partnership thing again. Oh well. Bossy. And Wolfie, thank you very much for the 20 bitties there. There we go. Is Darius still around? I believe so, yep. Good morning, Wolfie. Just a little bit loud in my ears. So let me t turn that down. I'm a little loud? No, my game is. It's probably my headset settings again. Never let loud. me try that. Uh, 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. He might have actually stepped away now. But yeah. Yeah, he probably did. Some yeah, obviously he's had a long stream, so yeah, he deserves a little bit of a break there. Um, obviously, any questions, you're more welcome to pop them in chat. And I need to stop reading chat, because I'll crash like that. And just join. How do I get into the battle? So if you do exclamation mark raiders in chat, or hit obviously the links that link that I put up a little while ago, and I can't drive worth a poop I today. I was grabbing there the is. beard dive from the mailbox. Ah, there we go. So the site I use now is Farm Sim Mods 22 from Tech Mike. NBC just waking up. NBC's here, he's um, muted himself, so he's probably stepped away for a sec. Yeah, so I'm going to be carrying on with my farming on here now, and hopefully Dave doesn't do any more restarts. Ah, <sighs> heck. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta actually restart. Yeah, let me do this a minute. We're a little bit quiet in stream. Just make sure you're all up. That's that. It's up you a little bit. JD. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you guys. So, um, I'm not making you restart. I'll just until we figure going. out how to fix the stone issue. I'll yeah, have, exactly. I'm just gonna save everything that I'm working on and not give it to you guys until it's done. You'll have it all at once, just like everybody else, so you don't have to cheat. <laughs> no. Yeah, it is kind of a pain but obviously with it being still in testing you never know if you're gonna have to do a restart so it's just yeah. the way it goes really well, um, i can i can hold off mods for a while until you guys so you guys get to play for oh. you can just give them to me i'm not complaining <laughs> 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 yeah so surfing cowboy gaming um john it's tricky um winston actually sent me a Bail, bailer that he did. It's actually the, the that particular one, but obviously I've gone in and just edited it a little bit further so the actual logo and everything's on there. Um, but to be honest, it is actually quite easy after you've done it once. But I can show you later if you want, um, or you can actually have a look at the rat, the bailer itself, or the that wrapper and see if you could add to your own logo or whatever you wanted to. Um, I think it takes a long time. Not really. Posture check. Thank you very much. Tech Mike. Much appreciated for that posture. Check. Right, let me get this up here. And grab me Baylor. Um, I love your uncharted map. But I have all these trees. But... Yeah, well, I think it's not mine. My uncharted. That was um, Pompey's. But yeah. Unless you can use 19. the. Yeah, I don't, is he talking about 19? Yeah, you're 19, um, Savron, out of curiosity. Because obviously my old one that hasn't come over to 22 yet. Um, yeah, yep. Imperial Gamer, thank you very much for the host. How you doing, bud? <clears throat> okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Not too bad. Good. Glad to hear it. Okie dokie. There we go. Uh, that, yeah, that's Pompey's um, map that was done by JD. But yeah, the you should 
I don't think there is a placeable sawmill for the map as yet. But on the SGA website, there is a placeable sawmill by Winston that you could try. And Matt, sir, thank you very much for the 222 bitties. Much appreciated, mate. And you could use the brooks to chip them up, and the um, wood chips are sold sold at the hardware store. They take those. Yep, there you go. From the man himself who converted the map over. Um, and obviously, thank you guys as well. I'm missing the the um, stream raiders message there. So obviously, thanks for all the epics being placed down so far. Hey, all Sin 8 how are you doing? Um, I had a pretty good Christmas, thanks, mate. Yeah, bad. I saw he put it. Winston put it back up there, so it's yeah. bad. Yeah. Obviously, with the site being down yesterday, and having, obviously Dave having to basically rebuild it from scratch, it is going to take all of us just to get everything, all the mods back up that we want to put up there as well. Yeah. So just a little bit of patience, and we'll all get there. Um, for now, at least all the mine are up there. Obviously, I will add that bale wrapper as well after the stream, so everyone can grab that. Uh, since the SGA website got hacked, um, yeah, you will need to re-register um, for a new account. Obviously, Dave has gone around, gone through, and added some additional security settings for when you do log in and stuff, which I would definitely recommend setting up. And obviously it's to protect you guys as well as us, really. Um, yep. Um, here we go. All my mods are back up on this. Actually, okay, cool, cool Winston. As, yep. So Winston has just confirmed that all of his current mods are up on the SGA website, ready for downloading again. No, I did not do the log cell point, but we could. And... Lantern Mac, thank you very much for the follow there. Much appreciated, mate. How are you doing? And welcome to the channel. See, and like I said, I've I kind of built it a little bit how I would be playing at least to start because I there's no auto load trailer right for logs yet, so yeah. I'm not going to be doing any logs yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day we'll have a cell point f for logs and such yeah. and auto load trailers again. But obviously, it's just going to take everybody a little bit of time to get all that sorted out. Um, Thoughts of that explains why. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. But yeah, that map is freaking amazing, to be honest. And there's Pompey's himself. How you doing, bud? You just put your favourite farmhouse back in the map. All right, which one's that? Is that um, elf? Elf? What you call it? Elk Mountain ones. By any chance? Because I do quite like those elk mountain ones. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. And obviously, Dave used them for quite um, a few of his maps in 19, especially obviously PV County. That big white one was one of theirs. I did see a nice. Um, it was almost like a a cottage, as it were. You'd see in um, the middle of nowhere with trees around it. A log cabin it's quite nice that they've just re released all right yeah cool right so is that link working I gave you oh puppies okay right, so I definitely don't need you up A little 
bit cheery at the minute. You go through Miss Settings there. And. Cool, now you're asking. Twarog, 68 raiding with a party of 75. Much appreciated, bud. How you doing? Welcome. Did you have a good stream? And if there's a moderator out there, come get a shout out for him. If not, I'll do it myself in a sec. Ah, thank you very much, Imperial. There we go. And thank you very much, Winston, for the epic gingerbread tank. Much appreciated. And... How's everybody doing today? How are you all doing? I do hope you're all well. We're on PV Wolf Creek by Dajnet. Obviously this is a map that's still in testing at the minute. So hopefully within the next, I don't know, a few weeks to maybe a month or so, we'll hopefully get a release on that. Depending on obviously how everything goes with testing. I'm doing swell. You're doing swell, are you? Good. I am. <laughs> and obviously did if you, you stay did... around long enough uh, last night in the stream to see that? Because that looked really good. What's that? I showed everybody the store. Oh, no. You must have done stuff. Oh, you missed it? I'll have to go back and watch yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does look good. Oh, good. Is it bright enough to... Because obviously in the editor, it, it does is. look a little bit different, doesn't it? So, okay, good. <laughs> Uh, yep, no, it looks uh, it looks great and got a lot of compliments on it. You did a great job. Oh, good, good, good. That's right then. Uh, Martin, ML Gamer, uh, the Space Weasel, Mickey JS seventy five, and Sean Gamer, Sean Gamer uh, forty seven. Thank you guys for the follows there. And my phone is having a funny five minutes. Stupid thing. Go away, Google. There we go. And Sharfner. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Hello, mate. How you doing? There we go. Obviously, we've got Dajnet in chat. We've got NBC Master Dad. Um, Darius is here as l along with JD Fan, who released the FS22. PV County Pompey's edition. Uncharted. Map. Uncharted map. Yeah, that's it. That's a big mouthful to even to come up with something decent on that. <laughs> Yipes. <Yeah, I'm sorry. laughs> also, it is a con convert from 19 to 22, which is an absolutely amazing looking map. Also, if you want to grab that, you're more than welcome to. All you have to do is go up to the SGA website and look for JD Fan under the modding section. And you'll need to download the map, which has obviously all the mods and stuff needed for the map. You'll basically unzip it and then drop everything into your mod folder. And then just play to your heart's content. And uh, worries how you get in your graphics so sharp. Minor blurry and poor. Um, well, one thing is I've got a rather good system. Uh, Mikey. Um, the other thing is I've got it set to ultra ultra high and I think I've even got everything enabled that I could so I like to literally push the game to and the PC to its set max capacity but yeah seems pretty good overall the only probably thing that's lacking is my internet but yeah I've got it all set up pretty high and obviously this is a 4x sized map that I'm currently on. So yeah. Obviously around the outside we have obviously the maps, mountains not the maps, the mountains from Ellengrad map, which is the Alpine map obviously. Um, over in the distance just there we have some mining which is absolutely amazing. There's a pa few little bits and pieces that need to dealing with, but we're getting there. Or Dave's Pompeys, getting there. once you own the land, then you can sell it. Uh, oh, there you go. So, yeah, so you own the land first, yeah. Did you feel... 
be did you feed the hamster to keep you in no. yep I've kicked all 12 of them in gear So for all you guys who are quite new, actually, I'll just show you off the map itself. Obviously, this is an extended version of Elm Creek. So we've got the Elm Creek in the middle here, and obviously Dave's pushed the borders right out. And unfortunately, I haven't got a big enough screen to do it, but that is pretty huge. Obviously, this is where I am at the minute down here. Obviously, you've got a big, huge mining area here with coal, ore, gravel, sand, you name it, it's there. Even gl like Gleena and stuff. Um, hey, Utterly Epic Gaming, how's it going? Do I get an income from the buildings when I own it? No idea. So, for that, what you have to do, and I tried to do that, but it, it, the game wouldn't let me. So what you have to do is, once you buy the land, you could then sell the buildings. And then, once you sell the buildings, then in their, um, in the store, you can place down the um, the ones that are in the store, and those you can generate money from. Well, there you go. And, Genghis Scott, 1981, thank you very much for the follow, and how you doing, brother? Hope you're a brother. But so no, to simple to simple it, sorry. Go for it. To simple it, um, the ones that are placed down right now are kind of dummy ones. They don't make money over time, but any ones that are in the store that you place down, they will. Yeah, that's a giant thing too. If you don't own it, it throws an error. And Imperial Gamer, <laughs> thank you very much for the luck. Uh, just got home from work, so it's beer o'clock. Nice one. Um, Poppies has got it, cool, okay. There we go. Pop out on cruise control. But yeah, there's so much going on on this map, it's absolutely amazing. You don't have to do any of the production side of things if you don't want to. You can just farm it if you want. Obviously, if you do want to go around the production side of things as well. Um, let me just bring up what we've got currently as a placeables. So I've gone to the sh shop to productions and scroll across. So we've got an edited version of the grain mill. Obviously there's still going to be a little bit more added to that. That's still a work in progress. We currently have a small concrete and you can't actually see anything, so I need to... One sec. And all those productions are in my map files. Dave wanted to put them out with that, so they're in that zip file also. That's where you can get all these, too. Yep, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, as I was saying, we've got a grain mill, which has still got a little bit extra... Oh, there, yeah, that was in. a test, really. Yep. One, but... uh, small concrete production that you just place down. Obviously with this one, if you look at the ing ingoing part, this right here is still a work in progress, but you'll need the government building to be up and running to get that side of things and it just helps boost your production side of stuff. Obviously in here I've also got Boom Howers Forage Maker, which is obviously a separate map but can be downloaded off the SGA website. Um, for this small small placeable stuff we've got the small flour mill and obviously you put in all these crops and you'll get the flour variation from them and you got your gold master which takes gravel and a gold master that takes sand also as i mentioned you need to, a government building to get all your uh, workers and such up and running obviously around the map there is various good um, different things help with entertainment help with safety you name it obviously once you buy it you have to supply it with power or electricity you should say and you get the obviously 
for example the fire station on Elm Creek or Wolf Creek in this case will give you safety bonuses um, I heard earlier that uncharted you cannot place fences that is something currently being worked on right now um, fireman there is a mod have you still got that JD that allows you to place down yep if you want to pop that in chat it'd be great I think you've got permission if not give me a shout and I'll give you permission Ooh, that's you and as you can see that is huge okay I got a sec uh, da -da -da -da. Come on, bring you up. And da -da 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 -da. oh, the stupid thing can come across. Um, so yeah, for now, there's this mod called Advanced Gameplay Settings, and what you do is you just download that there from the GitHub. Um, click on the release down right underneath there, and then you um, you have to hit F9. And then the last icon is like the placeable menu. You turn on the like, um, I can't remember what it's called. Hang on, let me go in here. D -d 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 Enable overlapping. And it allows overlapping placeable objects with other objects. Wait, you turn that on, you can place anything anywhere. Role manager. And I'm going to add. So JD. Make sure I get it spelled right. Underscore eighty five twenty. There's that moderator save. So hopefully you should be able to repost that now. And while I'm there, I'm gonna give somebody else some a little bit of permission. There we go. So if you grab that, um, for any of you guys who are on Uncharted at the minute. Uh, they'll obviously allow you to do the placeables and such. And I'm going to give somebody else permission as well, because he's always around. Um, I just got to make sure I get it spelled right. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Um, Is there a space uh, between Santa and Claus or an underscore? Yeah, it's an underscore. Yeah. And I'm going to make ad adjustments to the to the what's causing the placeables. Like Dave said, we're going to change the water plane. So, make sure that's about properly. And then links, okay. links. You should be able to um, in the game. It's added um, into the in-game cedars, millet, rye, and stuff. All the different crops. So, uh, bad. Can you comment in chat a sec? I want you to see something. You did include the. Carrot harvester, right? Billy's got that on the. Uh, yes, yeah, on the SGA. On the, SGA. the one that. Um, Bad lad, comment a minute. The big one that Shy Wizard did. There you go, mate. Included, correct. No, I didn't. I don't think I. I don't even have that one. Okay, so Bad right, lad, I've given you that. moderator privileges on the I channel. Okay. Because obviously you are in everyone's stream, you're as bad as I am. So I might as well make you a little helper. Sorry, I was ordering McDonald's. Really? On that case, I'm going to take that off. <laughs> I'm okay. That's it. Oh. You've been inscripted there, bad lad. <laughs> to work. Bad lad yep. Bad lad's one of Santa's little helpers. He is. There we go. Congratulations, dude. But yeah, he's as bad as I am at being in everyone's channel. You're very well. call you elf lad? There we go. Uh, JHHG is working on the DB series planters, so yes, yeah. he's working on them. There we go. Nice. So, but yeah, back to this. So, just a quick one, because there's only a few left. So, obviously, we're going to have a small oil production, a small oven for making bread, obviously. Um, a progress process station, which does your seeds and fertilizer. A uh, uh, place for making your diesel. Smelter, stone mill, which is really helpful, make a little bit extra money, and finally, obviously, at the minute, you got a small sugar mill. So there you go. That's for anybody who hasn't seen these. They are quite small, and you only get about three, four pallets out of it. So, yep, 
There we go. With that being said, I'm going back to my building. And da 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 da. Thank you very much, mate. So, bad lads, you're going to have to now memorize all the SGA streamers, including the guys on YouTube, so you can actually throw them up whenever in chat. But obviously, if you are, are are playing on Uncharted at the minute, um, if you go there and look at my mods, there is cedars and a few harvesters there that are set up for the additional crops. And obviously, they will also work on Wolf Creek when it comes out as well. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be careful. But nah. Bad lad definitely. So you mean now it. I can't time out bad lad? Nope. Aww. You can carry on with Michael though. Well, at least he gets to join in the fun. Oh yeah. Here we go. Speaking about Tom it, timing out moderators, Billy, do you remember the day you got timed out by Streamlabs? Oh I know, I haven't got a clue how that happened. <laughs> KW doesn't know how it happened, but it that, did. That is funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then and then Stream Elements timed out Stream Labs. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was timed out for posting a link. The, the link went through. I got timed out for posting it, but I'm a moderator, yeah. so I'm allowed to. It's a, wait, 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 wait a minute. What the heck? <laughs> it's a weird one. I don't know. Yeah, that was a conversation in that stream for about an hour and a half. Um. So... It's just YouTube guys that you don't know. Okay, so on YouTube, there's going to be mouse2222. Two, 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 two. Also, actually, I've got them as a command in chat. So if you do like exclamation mark mouse, I think it is, that'll give you the YouTube link for him. And exclamation mark casket will give you the link to casket man on YouTube. There you go. But obviously, everybody else is on Twitch. But there's a... Overall, there's 20... No, hang on. I was going to say 20 there, but it's not. It's 18 streamers. Obviously, on YouTube and Twitch. With an honorary person of, obviously, Kerminator Live. Who does the Giants channel, for the most part. Well, obviously, if you want to shout anybody out, bad, you're more than welcome to. There we go. That's that, that's that. Yeah, I don't think Michael will ever be a moderator in any of our channels. He was offered it in NBC's, and, well, I don't think that got very far, to be honest. Too fun to nope. pick him. He had his chance to be a moderator for one hour, and I told him I would take Boom's moderating privileges away, and he didn't want to meet the terms and conditions. Yep. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da, where are we? So, Georgia Assassin is lurking. Obviously, one thing, obviously, with Georgia Assassin, she's hoping to be able to do a little um, is it a video. Um, with that, it's a Georgia, so Georgia, because obviously it's the same as my daughter, is hoping to do a little tutorial on obviously the new SGA mod for the Switcher. Yeah, but it could be not the name, it could be the place. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a he. Oh, okay then. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's uh, what I thought. But dang I'm... it. <laughs> I knew, but don't, don't feel bad. It, it's Billy's daughter's <laughs> name, so he gets yes. a little bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. Obviously, my, 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 my grandmother's name Georgia. was too. Yeah. Uh, okay, name. cool. Okay, George, Georgia. Just had to set him <laughs> straight because, you know. Yeah. And I just realized Stream Raiders is ready. Okay, let's get that done and oh, out of the way. So let's bring you oh, by the way, top. Billy, Stream, yes. Stream Raiders is ready. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Yeah. Hey, that's what we're here for. Moderator. Oh, interesting. Uh, 05 Paul 85. Right, good luck, guys. What? Okay. The issue with the stones, you have to add them in the editor under Terrain Editing Foliage Layer Stone Layer State Invisible. Ah, interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What 
the heck did you just say? <laughs> uh, he said, in the editor, under terrain edi editing foliage layer, stone, layer state invisible. There you go, congratulations guys, well done. That's the easy one to start off with. And Wolfie, Winston, and Kwaki Chan are getting a little extra something from that battle. There we go. Uh, so, John, this is Stream Raiders, okay? And what you have to do, obviously, if you click on the link that just popped up in chat, what you'll be able to do is to place down oh, a unit in any of this blue, light bluish area, okay? You've got here, and here, and over here, and here, okay? So I'm going to place mine just there. And it's just a little bit of fun, really. Obviously, after 30 minutes, I can initiate initiate the battle like what we just done a minute ago. And the aim is to basically win. However, there is one person in chat at the minute who's dying still to see a lose. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, to be honest. And Not when see. you pick weak enemies. But what do you do, paint the whole lay the whole map with the invisible stone layer? That was my question, too. Oh. Or just the part that we added on for the 4X. Because it should already be in the original 1X. And as you can see, John, all of these guys here have just already placed down their first set of units. You can have, I think it's up to six in any one battle. Obviously, while you guys are placing that down, I'm going to jump back to Wolf Creek and carry on with my little bit of bailing. Obviously, at the bottom of the screen is obviously the current map progress um, for Stream Raiders, along with a counter that's going to tell you how long before the next battle is ready. But yeah, it's just a little bit of fun, kind of like... um. Obviously, how Darius and a few other guys have got um, stream avatars. Obviously, I've gone for stream raiders. And that's actually Darius's fault because he got me into it initially, so. Nope, not my fault. <laughs> but at least we can blame Yosho for the avatars this time. Yes. Yeah. How was his stream this morning? Was he bombarded Pretty with good. beans? Or? I don't think so. No. Uh, I didn't catch all of it, but... Why is my phone so far behind? That's terrible. I mean, yeah, in my case, I'd paint the whole map. I would too, just about. Why wouldn't you? People plow a field, you want them to be able to have stone. But, wouldn't that... Hmm... Usually, you, you paint the map and it replaces the layer with the foliage, you know? It wasn't replacing it when I did it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you already did it, huh? Well, I was playing with it. I didn't actually do it. Gotcha. Okay. Do it. That's got pretty easier. Hey, Joe. Will, how you doing? Okay. I yep, we have the items I never get. Dajna in chat. We got JD fan, NBC Master Dad, and Darius Frost in Discord with us today. And me personally, I'm doing absolutely great. He's not English speaking. Go. Nice shout out for Dajnet. Thank you very much. Bad. Uh, so, 
So Paul is not good. Oh, right, yeah. So what'd you do it under, JD? Terrain foliage paint? Yeah, it's under, yep. Uh, where, like, you select weed or grass or whatever. Right, you select yeah. stone and do invisible is what he's saying. Yeah, there's uh, uh, invisible, small, medium, and big. Not sure about a planter or cultivator. Um, obviously, whatever I've done on the SGA website um, should help out a little bit. Um, obviously, Big Daddy does the plows. It's just apart from what's in game, really. Um, how big is it? Let's think, let's think, let's think. Cedars. So, for any guys, obviously, I do have a modded version of the Amazon up on the SGA website. Um, so, you're 15 meters. So I'm not sure if they've got anything that big. Mm. I'm going to cultivate it at the minute, have we? 6, 7, 8, 12. I guess the Vadistat is probably going to be the closest. Slightly smaller. But, yeah. Not sure really about that, Mara. Um, so, uh, do we need to paint the entire? Oh, it's JD. <laughs> There's Darius's shout out. Cool. Are we going to restart after you paint that? No oh, idea. That's, I didn't want to answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, at the minute, I'd imagine, I'm going to answer for it, um, uh, both with Dave and possibly JD, they're obviously going to aim to try and not do any restarts that often, but obviously we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully not, to be honest. But obviously, we'll test it and let you guys know. Well, to be honest, you're not really adding anything, you're just extending something, aren't you, really? What's in the game at the minute? Yeah, but if that's a foliage layer, that's going in possibly the fruit density. Uh, oh, that's not good to start with. Yeah, good but then. you're not... Hmm, yeah, it's... it's a tricky one. No, I'm checking anybody... that now. We'll see. Has anybody created new fields on Wolf Creek on the 4X part to see if they got stones? They don't. Casket, uh, man. Don't. Casket was saying he didn't get any. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh. So you're on about a direct cedar. Is that what you're on about, Amani? Because I think that should do. I'd uh, be, be a direct cedar, but obviously, I, in my own opinion, I'd say that it's actually better to try and do things the way it's set up in game. So you're having to do your plow, your cultivate, your lime, and everything. Obviously, get that extra yield. Um, I know, obviously, Bad Lad, he's around a lot of websites, so I don't know if he's come across anything yet. 20 chicken nuggets, a triple cheeseburger, and a large Coke delivered. Oh, nice. <clears throat> okay, so... Okay, actually, this is good. <laughs> the stones go in, so... I changed the stone to stone big just to try to see if I could, you know, trigger something in a file somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Those are in the the stones are in the density stone file, not the fruit density file. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And that should be empty already. So you I don't think it is empty because mine is well, probably yours too is two hundred and two point two eight megabytes. I mean, yeah, there's black. It's probably all black to start off with. I would... No stones. Well, right, but it probably has some kind of channel. Like that was a really yeah. light gray in there. I couldn't, you know, mm -hmm. I couldn't see it too close. Uh, Mr. Bobby HK ninety three, thank you very much for that follow. How are you doing, bud? And welcome to the channel. I mean, if that was blank, that would not be 2.28 megabytes. Got another file yeah, but if it's just black, mine's 2.28 and it doesn't have anything, I just used a black file. It's the size of the file, not the... It's because ah, thank of you very much for the host as well. 
much appreciated. Or the Thank number you. of layers, but there shouldn't be anything on the layers if there's no stone to start with. Yeah, but I think they're ha- oh, well, okay. Here we go. I think you have to, like he said, I think you have to paint it invisible, and it is there is something on those layers. Maybe it's up. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Let me back this up before I go and screw with so, this. Yeah, I got plenty of straw to keep me going there. And Kilmore, thank you very much for this tier one subscription with this. Six months in advance. You are a superstar, mate. You really are. Thank you. Ryan hey, Kelly, thank you very much for the host there. I'm gonna make the whole I'm gonna make the brush wow. like thousand and paint the whole map in you're, invisible. You're amazing. Mm-hmm. And see if that increases the file size of it. And thank you very much for that host as well. The Avenger Viking. The average Viking. Average Viking, my bad. My bad, sorry about that, but yeah, thank you very much. This is why we've got Darius around, because obviously he knows all you guys better than I do. Oh, I wouldn't even begin to say that. I'd, I <laughs> I, will occasionally get them right. <laughs> uh, occasion returns. How you doing, mate? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cassini. Cassini, is it? Oh, yeah. Cassini. Yep, got you. Um, are we hacking the FS22 files? No, never. Ryan, it's gone really well. How you doing, mate? Yeah, hacking is a very strong word, but yeah. No, we're just trying to... F Dave and obviously JD are just trying to figure out a few things along with NBC. Obviously for the maps. And obviously one nice thing as well. Um, the current mod pack that's going to be on Wolf Creek is currently on Uncharted. Well, hopefully, if he ever gets his finger out, he's, you know where... Um, NBC's map will also hopefully support all those things as well. Did you know you had your finger and you know where? <laughs> I was being polite. Ah, uh, yeah, I wasn't tracking that, but you know, thanks, <laughs> Billy, for pointing that out. <clears throat> oh, I'm terrible today. Right. Um, <laughs> today? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, the Amazon Citron, whatever you call it, is the in game Cedar Bad Lad. Obviously, it's the one that I've also edited on the website. Um, there you go, I'll show you. Cedar, Cedar, Cedars. It's this guy here. Obviously, I've got one myself under my own category right there, which has lots of little color options so you can actually make it NBC pink if you wanted to. The only thing I haven't actually done anything with is these little discs. Or you could have it maybe a sort of Darius purple if you like. I still want to see someone come out with camouflage. Yeah, that's a funny skin though. It is, it is. I know, obviously in 19, I think it was 17 and 19, um, somebody did do like a New Holland. Yep. Um, one at Harvester. Well, it's one of those things that the pattern pattern has to be just right on the texture. So when it overlaps on the vehicle, that it actually looks good. And it doesn't look like it's, you know, not matching up. Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue where, how, how to do that, really. I suppose that's a blender thing, maybe. No now, how idea. can you see it if it's invisible? <laughs> Make it visible? Well, that's what I was kind of wondering about. <laughs> that's why I, I was thinking it was going to be like under the info layer because it would, you know, like when you paint the farmlands are different colors to where it would show you that. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, exactly. If it had a color or something, that's yep. what I was messing around with. Like, wh why can't I see what I'm painting? Right. right. Or did, like JD say, do you just have to go to like size 5000 brush and just hit the button and... You know, hope it yeah. works. <laughs> so I, mean, I the... so I did that, and it actually made the density map stone file way smaller. It's only three hundred and fifty kilobytes now. 
as opposed to 2.28 megabytes. Boy. I'm going to load a text and see. In chat. <laughs> Darius, you got that. Where was that screenshot that you had from somebody showing? Oh, uh, it was on my SGA um, tickets. One I, put it, I, I moved will, it over uh, to his SGA tickets. Oh, uh -huh. all right. Well, oh. check, check your tickets under the uh You should have support. access to the support and see a ticket. I appreciate so that. The other Dave. question I, I have is um, if, with you painting them invisible, when you plow them up on the fields, are they going to be small, medium, or large? Or is it or is that the random? I want to know if it starts growing stones even if you have plowed. Oh, cool. yeah, that's true. Because I know even in Elm Creek, in around some that's of cool, the driveways, if you yeah. altered the terrain, you'd automatically get the stones. Um, without looking at the actual XML, I know in 19 it used to be. I'm, I'm sure it should be. Let me see what the base game one's like. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, direct seed. So that should be a direct seeder. Obviously, the plowing is the best way to get the big stones, right? Yeah. You... Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. And obviously, the one that I've done will do all the base game um, actual crops. Um, for you guys, obviously, on on PV Uncharted on the SGA website, there's these two guys. As well, obviously, I've added in the carrots um, and all the other um, additional crops. Obviously, you got the John Deere, which is only for has seed capacity, so I'd probably recommend using that for like say um, contracts. Um, with that, it does have the color option, so you could actually change it to I don't know, let's see a class for instance, if you wanted to. I don't know, something like that maybe. That looks horrible to be honest, but what's the other colour? Is that one? But yeah, you can literally change all of the colours around if you wanted to. And obviously the same with that one, but obviously that does do the fertiliser as well. Which is quite nice, so you could actually make that a, maybe a John Deere for instance. The only thing I haven't been able to figure out is how to get the tanks to change colour yet. If I did, I'd probably link it in... Actually, I might be able to figure something out with that. Look at them. But yeah, still bad little cedar, to be honest. And so is that. Because obviously that changes the tanks. I'll have to look at that later. Yeah, obviously that is actually just base game with the crops added, so yeah. But give that a try. I'm um, Amani, or Amara, I should say. So, Billy. Yes? Let me ask you, do you remember back when you used to just fire up and play the game? Um, yeah, that was months, months, months ago. Right. <laughs> you, you look at it completely different when you're modding, don't you? Well, yeah. I can try this. Uh, even when you're playing it, you're looking at, at different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a completely different aspect of the game. There is something that I am actually trying to figure out at the minute, and it re it's in regards to this blinking thing. Um, KW came up with the same idea, is to basically have the SGA logo and basically all the streamers on here. So kind of like what I've done already with the other trailers, but have them on the curtains. But obviously this, I have no idea how to do. And maybe have like things going off here all the way around. I would almost SGA imagine that that would be um, a separate, you know how you can go in and um, do different designs? Mm -hmm. I almost wonder if you would have to do it that way because of the curtain. Hey guys, look at look at my. That's a lot of stone. 
Yeah, I haven't got a foggy because obviously I have gone into Holy cow. the editor with that, and it does have two <laughs> different types of curtains. Obviously, you've got the open version and closed, so I have no idea. Maybe one day I'll figure it out. But we'll, well you got stone. Was that with the invisible? Did you get the stone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. No, Billy, like you, gotta, you gotta look at it. It almost looks like snow. <laughs> Hang on a sec, guys. Jeez, I think that's I think that's almost <laughs> denser than what Dave put in his mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but is that because it's the first time plowing? Holy heck. <laughs> I have no idea. That's that kinda that crazy wow. though. Holy cow. Can I show that off for these guys? Sure. Yeah. Right, we're just going to change the desktop. Looks like boom so for field. you guys on Uncharted, <laughs> this is what JD's come up with. All these little uh, bits of stone. How's uh, how's it work when you're doing a new field, though? Would that be enough for you so, guys? <laughs> wait, that isn't a new field? No. So if that's well, on one of the existing fields already. Yeah, um, yeah that's one of the existing four? fields already. Yeah, field four from the looks of that. Wow. There's got to be a place to adjust uh, the density of it. So see if you look along the side here, that is a heck of a lot of stones. There you go, see? <laughs> wow. <laughs> go ahead, pick try, them up. <laughs> try, try to do an area that, that's not a field already. All right. Like down bigger. the center of the Hang road or something. Nope, that's not going to work. I was hoping to get a bit bigger. Oh, are you kidding me? It looks like the field around where you live. <laughs> uh. Oh, Randy's changing. Actually, nope. there might have been trees right here. Did I? Can you paint? I just one plow of the down the middle of the road and see what happens. I guess. Or something yeah. Like that. I love that plow in 19, but just too much was taken off from it. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Holy heck. Yeah, so it's the same. Hmm. So, hmm. there you go, guys. Wow. Let me come back here. That is impressive. That 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 is a lot of stone. <laughs> Holy cow. That, that is a lot of stone. stone. My goodness. Well, if you do it that way, you won't have to worry about having stones from the mine ever. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> well, now I wonder if we pick them up, like, will they, you know, come back yeah, if, if you replow? But, well, yeah. Will it, will it be that dense? Right. The next time around. Yeah, that's true. Because maybe what they wow. did was maybe they planted or not planted, but maybe they only pick certain parts of the field to put the stone on. You know what I mean? Instead of plant, instead of the whole thing. Well, they do the whole field. <clears throat> See, Are those things sure? look different like, than what's in the, the actual. Yeah, because that that's a though. complete blanket, not spotted like it is. Right. Which yeah, but, is kind of cool. <laughs> what if they What if they did the invisible though over everything? I mean, oh, only in certain parts. You know what I mean? Instead of I, I did over the entire map. What if they have gone through and just sprinkled it here and there? I highly doubt that it would be as effective as they have it looking. It's almost like they, yeah. So question is, if you pick up stones and plow again, I'm curious. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, with that, with I would actually come out looking like. probably recommend I mean, it's using initial plowing. Stone picker for that. Got it right here. Yeah, you'll definitely need a bigger stone picker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Capacity, one million. <laughs> Just <laughs> hammer down. Totally a fine stone picker. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Rock Simulator. Do I have it in here? I'm sure I do. <laughs> yep. Um, Where's stone pickers, stone pickers, stone pickers? <laughs> Can you imagine the person that would have to sit there and try to actually, like, get that out of the field? Yeah. Oh. 
Less than... I don't know. I, th- I think it's kind of cool. If you get that the first time when you make a new field, you know, that would make more sense. Um, well, so yeah, it, I mean, it, it, he... it, it would definitely make more sense if that's how it started out every time because, right. you know, you're, you're, you're breaking new ground. Yep. At a, a rope but uh, I would I would honestly feel like the guy at the gu- at the uh, you know the driving range where he's in the little cart picking up all the golf balls. <laughs> yeah. Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Chilwell, that's um, the Iconics um, stone picker. Um, I actually got it off of his Facebook page. But I do believe that it's actually up on a few third-party websites as well. <laughs> if it's not, Good I'd be thing you've got increased capacity, otherwise you'd have filled it already. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of liking that. <laughs> T- take the, take the mass yeah. off the one million liters so that it actually Ooh. takes the... <laughs> see yeah. how far you can pull before your tractor digs out and stops. Um, I use Iconics refill stations. Be, oh, be, right. be like a tractor pull at the fair, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and Just the until you run out of weight and stop. Hello there. How you doing, bud? And so I should be able to just. I just should be able to just plow again. And see what happens, right? You after yeah. I picked up these, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should. Yeah, because it's a different state, so. <laughs> Seventeen and a half thousand liters from one pass <laughs> down the field. <laughs> <laughs> All right, might be a little excessive. So much, so much for Dave needing his his whole Was mind covered. Seventeen thousand liters. Yep. Yeah, for one pass. <laughs> that was kind of a big field, though. <laughs> yeah, but that's one twelve meter wide pass, <laughs> right? <laughs> Can you imagine doing that with the base game rock picker every two thousand liters? Yeah, I don't have that <laughs> in um, a command yet. But yeah, obviously, personally, this is just the way I play. Is so I'm obviously going to be doing it the way it's, um, I suppose. Oh, they come back designed bigger. To be done. So obviously, plow, cultivate, and all that, <laughs> and then obviously seed. Uh, yeah. So obviously going to need a decent seed bed to get obviously the additional bonus. Um, so I bet if you do it again, they're going to be mediums. I'm doing pretty good, thanks to Vink, and it sounds like the guys in Discord have. Broken the map, almost. Yeah, yeah JD's done a pretty good that's job there. That's still not right. You'll get stones already. But is, man, that's... yeah, is there like a way of adjusting that so it's like maybe half of that because there was quite a lot there. No. Oh, they went to all the medium stones with just as many. Mm. See, I don't think that painting the layer is the proper way. I think that you're putting stones in that are invisible everywhere, whereas the game itself creates them as you're plowing. Now it's the big ones. Yep. Yeah, in the next level you're going to get none. Oh, there you go. There's the um, formula for... Um, doing field work. That's cool. Thank you very much, Darius. Not a problem. I'll have to grab that at some point. I'll send it to you in Discord, Billy. All right, cheers. Uh, smoking guns too. Thank you very much for the follow there. How you doing, bud? And hi- welcome to the channel. Here we go. Just doing a little bit of bailing at the minute on PV Wolf Creek. Obviously, also doing a little testing as well while we're going. Too slow, so in I do, theory, but... like Dave said, you should get none this time. Uh, sounds like there's <laughs> nope. a random number generated uh, nope. uh, for the number of stones in the field. No idea. Oh, thank you. No, Ooh, not. it's just that you're painting them in. Rather I than think you. it's only uh, one M there, bad lad.
Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Give me a second, I'll no. just throw it up in. Just... If you can't now, when you painted it. those in, JD, um, and you did the invisible, did you do like a height or, you know, like when when we're putting in the mine okay, stuff, you choose a height? No. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, Smoking Guns. Are different bit settings, possibly? It's going pretty well. That's what um, I'm thinking. Um, I'm I'm sure. from, well, yeah, sure. there's invisible, Elm small, Elm medium, and large. And yeah. nothing. Right, but what, um, what we're talking about, Darius, is even like when you put the mining stuff in, and you know how I Dave stacks it up, your height yeah. setting Yeah, 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 yeah no, I guess. So... Is there an extra bit in there that can be turned on or off? Someone. Alright, let's have a little look here. Doop. That's Apple, invisible, just zero. Commands. Mm -hmm. Small is one. SGA. Medium is zero, one. Big is two. On there. What's going on? What, is there any other bits, or is that the only ones that are selectable? Those are the only selectable ones. Oh, yep. I wonder what zero two would do. <laughs> or zero one two. I don't Let know. Let me just grab a link for you for the Discord. Uh, b -b 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 the website? Probably not show a layer. SGA yeah, that's weird. Discord group, there it is. So, add a command. My Discord. Oh, you're not doing the whole map, are you? Yeah. There, chat, everyone, confirm. So hopefully you should now have a command for Discord. Um, I have a weird question about getting water on PV Uncharted. Hopefully that one works fine. Obviously that will take you to the Sim Game Alliance um, Discord group. I don't really have one of my own. That's cool. And while I'm at it... Yeah, so how do you get water on, on Uncharted? No, that's a good question. I can't remember. There on is pond. Uncharted, you there's get water. pond. Yeah, the ponds should be able to get water from any. Yep, any water, any water that you yeah. can find. Yep. And if I remember, go. if you uh, dig down anywhere, you'll have uh, water too, because there was a water plane under there. And we grab all of that. Yep. Copy you. And add a command. And. Order. Oh. Chat. Anyone? So there you go. You should now have um, exclamation mark order, and that'll give you the obviously the. Yep, that's good. Cool. For getting the best yield harvest. There we go. Um, that's that, that's that. I don't think there's anything else to do there. Let me drop you down. I'm um, going to jump over to Stream Raider and get that going. If my... Hit the right button. There we go. And I'm going to stick a curse down on these guys. Good luck, guys. Uh, how many was that, anyway? I missed, I missed that. <laughs> A lot. Quite a few, yeah. 55. Oh, wow. Holy heck. I saw 57 to begin with. That is so amazing. Guys, there you go. Thank you very much. And also, welcome to DHZ. Much appreciated. Um, yep, yeah, I'm playing FS22 and Mr. Conman 750R. Hello, mate. Welcome as well. Um, Ice Kais. Should they be special trailers? Uh, because I don't see with any. 
Jeskins. Um, what are you... Yeah, I don't know. One second, guys. So, Amar, uh, Moki and Manuel Paul. There you go, guys. You're getting a little extra something. Um, so let's get the next one up and running, because I think that was quite an easy one, to be honest. And let me... Yeah, bring that's some rock. <laughs> this guy here. So, links in chat if any of you guys want to join in. You're more than welcome to. Let me douche, douche, douche. Jump back to the game. So, if it's base game stuff to collect water, if you go into the animal animals section here, yeah, and scroll across, you've got this guy here that can take water, this one, the Joskin here, along with the two lizards, will also take water. Um, if you want something a little bit more modified, there is a version of this on the SGA website that I've done myself, and it'll actually should accept all liquids or any liquid type, okay? Rather than just the water, the milk, and all that. And obviously, it will have more of a color option as well. And uh, I think there's capacities, different capacities as well there. Um, I play on PS4, okay. Yeah, that's not a problem. Obviously, if you've got any questions, um, D A D H Z. Obviously, if there's an easier way of saying your name, please pop it in chat. Um, but yeah, everybody's welcome here. Obviously, I am single player, so I don't really do multiplayer as often or crossplay, what you want to call it. There we go. So that's now finished. There we go. Yeah, obviously if you've got any questions, you're more than welcome to pop it in chat. Um, you have the Joskins 7300, seven oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that was, I'm not sure, if that, is that the in-game one? I'm not sure. Yeah, this guy here. Obviously you can use literally any of these guys to get water. Um, obviously if you're on PC, you obviously go off to the SGA website. There's um, obviously a few tankers on there by myself. And Winston's also got some. I uh, got my Christmas. All oh, right, you got yours on Christmas, okay? Ah, cool. And how are you enjoying it so far? I must say that's not a logical fix. <laughs> no. I'm looking for an. Or broken with it having that many rocks. That works. I'm playing. It Um, there is a few on, uh, I'm sure Mr. Bad Lad knows quite a few, on Farms Farming Simulator 2022 mods website, there's quite a few on there, I'll to try and find the most latest updated version. So my theory, yeah. Go. I think um, they they painted those in. Personally, I'm not so. really using any auto trailers. Obviously, the way the game is set up, you can actually um, do a lot of it and just have to pay a little bit towards it. Um, can I make mud on farms? Not that I'm aware of at the minute. I think they randomly painted everything. I think that their it. layer is created different. I don't think they painted any. Come on, come on, swing around. There we go. When you, oh, I guess here's the next test to try it on a, happened, by the way. on the and default Lord. map. Evil Ray is coming in with a party of twenty. Thank you very much, Bud. How are you doing? And how was the stream, uh, Mr. Bad? If you wouldn't mind doing a shout out, much appreciated. On the default map, are the stones exactly the same? I believe he's on after every time. At the minute. Uh, and thank you very much for the follow there, big pe big bear. I want to say there's a randomness to it, but I've never really paid that close attention to whether or not they're in the same spot every time. Same spot and same size every time. No, no, not, not the same easier. size. They change size. Well, if you plow. If you plow and you know what I mean, you have to do the same conditions. You plow. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I plow my fields every harvest, and they come back different sizes. In the same spot, though. 
I don't know. Um, yeah, I hate that. How do I disable the heavy on the settings? Uh, like heavy trees. Um, not really sure, but obviously in one sec, the settings. Um, How about this? I bet you on the base map, da, 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 if you plow field. Right here, you got trailer fill limit. If you turn that off, that should help a little bit. Um, obviously, if you're on PC, but you're not, are you? Da, 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 just make sure. Yeah, yeah. It's going to Christmas. PS4, yeah. So I'll have a look, have a look in your settings for that just there. If you can toggle that off, that will actually remove any weight issues. So rather than having like a half a trailer, you'll actually be able to load it up um, fully. Obviously the only problem with that is it might might find that your equipment struggle a little bit because of the weight, additional weight. Um, stream was good, just trying to figure out how we want to move on. Oh right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah, how are you enjoying Un Uncharted at the minute? We do have obviously Dave and JD Fan in chat with us right now. They're actually trying to work on a addition to the map, should we say, or an issue that's been on the map, should say. Um, I've heard people on the base map say they don't get stone where they plow feet. Yeah, I've I've had stones every time. What? I, yeah, I mean, when I've created fields, I get stone in it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Um, guns, you need to download the pallet auto script. Is anybody testing that or no? I'm not right now. Dar you're not Dar Darius, are you? I'm not actively testing it, okay. but I know okay. I know I have gotten stone where I've made well, new fields. Well, I what I'm I guess what I want to test is I want to know do the exact same stones pop up in the spots where you plow every time? Like for instance, on the corner of field one, do st the same stones pop up in the same spot on field one every time you plow in that same spot? So DHZ, unfortunately, I am single player. So I don't really play with yeah, others that, very well. Yeah, that I have not. <laughs> I have not tested that. All right, sure. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'll do it. Not at the minute. Uh, just took a look at it today to see if. Oh, nice, cool. Okay. But they come up more dense then. They right. couldn't possibly sprinkle it like that. I'm gonna pop that right there. I need to take a quick break. What if they had some kind of generator that we don't have? That's what I'm thinking. They they auto did their terrain file to do it. Make sure you see all that. Okay, I will be back in just a couple of minutes. But these guys will be in chat as well. Because if this is true, what we could do is we could take um a portion we could do it in the images we could take a portion of the density map stone file and just copy and paste it and like just redo that whole file possibly yes like four right times the size and then put one in each corner it might work but maybe not even that because it has i mean i think it clearly has a blocked out area well, maybe not. I mean, we'll have to see. Maybe it's got a blocked out area for, you know, the town area on Elm Creek or something. Well, I know no that if you, if you altered the terrain or you do any plowing around the buildings, you get the stones there, too. Okay. Inside the town. I would think because we painted around the outside of the image in black that maybe that's why maybe there was something there we didn't see right and duplicating the image might bring it in rather than painting around the side oh so keep it to one size just duplicate no. it and put it in each of the corners yeah exactly okay yep and that might solve it all 
All right, I, I'd probably be better use of my time to try to do that right to do that right now than it would be to do this. I would think so. Okay, that way you can send me the layer, and I won't have to. Right. No. <laughs> 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 no, that's fine. We help each other out. That's fine. Yeah, if it works, that is. Right. I don't want it if it doesn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work, you can keep it. <laughs> Make much more sense, though. I will tell you, if we find someone that doesn't like rocks, you can always give them a version of the map that's like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you turn them off. If hey, 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 Nanik, uh, we, we <laughs> solved your bushes problem. Oh, JD, you got to take one and give it to X-Man and be like, hey, we updated this. Try a new save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I don't even think they'd have that many rocks in their fields in the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do field 70 one time. You'll have more rocks than what Dave has in the mine altogether. Yeah, pretty much. Are you delivering my gro Oh, my groceries are on the way. Figures the things I always wanted, the things are always. Do they have coffee? No. No. Are they oh, ever going to have coffee again? Well, maybe, but they didn't even have my rotisserie chicken for. That's terrible. Oh. And I'm back, guys. So, um, yeah, Mother, Mother Trucker, you will need to set up a new account on the SGA website. And obviously, that's for anybody out there who's just come in. Um, with the SGA website, there was a bit of an issue yesterday, it got hacked and basically quarantined and such. And Dave's had to go in and create a new website. It is actually up and running now, and the majority of the mods are getting back up there now. So they are only PC only mods at the minute. But yeah, you will need to set up a new account if you haven't done it already. Um, Alright, gotta da -da -da. run out and get my groceries, I'll be back. Okay. Okie dokie, yeah. And thank you very much, Cody Spark, for the follow there. Much appreciated, mate. And I did see somebody else. Where was it? Tadpole, how you doing, mate? Welcome back. Hey. So, hey, Tadpole. As is actually the halfway point, and I'm doing bells. How's it going, Tadpole? Um. Thanks very much for that epic musketeer. Hi, it's Salty. Much appreciated. So, for any of you guys who haven't seen it yet, I'll, sh I'll show off one more time during the stream. This will be posted up on the SGA website after the stream. You can get it in a minute as well. It's going to be a new bell wrapper, which is going to have the SGA logo on it. Obviously, going to have quite a good range of um foil colors to choose from along with the same with the main color and obviously rim options as well and obviously when you wrap both square and round bales let me just switch screens and bring up that again a sec let me get that up that up uh, uh. let me bring up the screenshot a sec there's that what you will get is square bills that have the SGA logo on it, along with obviously the round bills as well. Will have the circle version on it. And if you want that, you're more than welcome to it. All you do is exclamation mark wrapper in chat right now, and you can download that now. 
but if you, if you wanted to wait you're more than welcome to and uh, we'll go up on the SGA website afterwards okay so that is something I've just been working on obviously Winston bless his cotton socks also helped out and obviously pointed me in the right direction for that how do you know he wears cotton socks it might be wool socks well I'm hoping it's cotton socks oh okay he seems like a cotton sock type kind of person rather than woolly <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And scary blocks, how are you doing? Thank you very much for that fall there. Much appreciated. And Grabby Latouche, how are you? Um Yeah, so this is gonna be a separate mod that you can actually download. Much like obviously the trailers that I've done for the SGA guys. Um, obviously you guys can also use them as well and obviously you'll get the additional colours for bale wrapping along with the SGA logo on there if you want to use it um, yep and also goes on the square bales so it's really quite cool uh, ba -bam. yeah so Mr Wheels should be on afterwards um, let's see in about an hour and 20 minutes roughly so I'm guessing we'll be popping in before too long and uh, I'm doing pretty good thanks very much scary oh and grabby Latouche as well um, regarding that thing in discord that I'm put on regarding the issue with the sugar cane I just dropped the clip distance for the minute and I'm kind of hoping that Dave's going to be able to add sugarcane to the belt effect. Just installed it now, cool. Um, did you say you had it? Yeah, the, on the SGA website there is two um, tr pace setters. So you got the SGA logo one there, which has multiple capacities up to 100k so it's going to be 50k in each hopper and obviously you're going to have these different color options what well, you got chrome matte metal flaked and oh god knows what else does a nice little selection there for you guys along with obviously the special edition one that has all the logos of the streamers who participated in obviously the the first 22 days of FS22 and obviously carried that on now they're all in there as well along with a nice little message that I definitely recommend any guy any of you guys reading it's a little shout out to obviously a great moderator out there KW and obviously that has the same color options on there as well as you can see right there and both of them are up on the SGA website at the minute Uh, does anyone know if Xbox Series are down? I tried and go on my screen and can't connect. Not sure. I don't think any of the guys here in chat are on Xbox Series. Are you? I would go to the uh, the forums and see. Yeah, there we go. If you go over to the giant forums, the you way. might find some information there. It wouldn't surprise me with a lot of people getting the game for Christmas and stuff like that, that mm -hmm. uh, if the servers did go down. Yeah. I know even downloading last night uh, from on a PC was slow for just mods. So, and that's just because a lot of people probably got the game for Christmas yeah. also. Cool, not a problem, mate. Honest, I don't really need any more bales, so what I'm going to do is sell this lot off. 
and hope I'm going to get a decent price. Oh, wrong one. I want that one. Da, 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 da. Straw. There we go. Ooh, I've got some seemingly in um, storage somewhere. Interesting. Uh, I'm not really worried about the price. So let's go over to South Valley Biomass. Good question. Which one is that? I'm guessing that one. Then you have a new farm. And what's your question there, mate? Oh. Well, that file is now 8 megs, so it did something. Yeah, if you've any guys got any questions, just pop it in chat. You don't have to ask. Obviously, we will try and obviously get it answered. And Anthony Carter, 87, thank you very much for the follow there. Much appreciated, mate. And thank you for the much the stretch spot. I will do that right now. Let's be unplug me headset for a sec. Yeah. Oh, I needed that, definitely. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you very much. Touch the roof, it's great. Um, is there a razor? Raza? Um, it's a, it's like a side by side. I haven't seen any yet. Okay. Hopefully that helps answer the question. Um, personnel trying to think, what the heck's that? It rings a bell, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about. It's like a side by side uh, four wheeler. Oh, okay. So, there was a few in 19. Mm. I haven't seen one yet in 22. What I'd probably recommend, um, actually you're on PS4, so whatever's on the in-game mod hub, I'd, if it's not there, then doubtful. Uh, base game, John Deere and Mahindra. Oh, yeah, they're very similar, aren't they? So, vehicles... So obviously you've got these two guys which are very similar to that. Um, obviously if there's anything on the in-game mod hub, give that a check as well. But no razor, yeah. That's probably going to be something that needs to be modded for obviously console use as well. I restarted it, solved a bit. Oh, that's good then. Cool. So this is actually my new farm area. Um, at some point, I do need to get down here and tend to the new fields. Good old Grandpa Simpson. I'll be right back. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I lost my Steam account earlier. Clicked on a dodgy Discord link. Thought I'd come and watch some streams while I wait. For this. Oh, that's not good. So yeah, keep, uh, keep my fingers crossed for you, mate. So I'm in the UK. I'm in the south of the UK, to be precise. Um, the rest of the guys who are in chat with me. So I've also got Dajnet, who's obviously just stepped away. Um, I'm back for a oh, minute. I'm back for a minute. Darius in NBC Master Dad and JD Fan are all over in America. So yeah, we are sort of literally all over the place. We are indeed. Okay, take a look. Uh oh, <coughs> I'm not prepared. A nice little bit of money there. Turns out they that's a small update. yeah, that's what it should look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But yeah, obviously make sure that your games are all up to date as well. That does help. That's what it should look like. Was that duplicating okay. it four times? Yes. Uh, now go out to a place yep. where there Houston. isn't a field. Ah, okay. Yep. Houston. Nice. Then send me the file. <laughs> Just 
yeah, we've got literally peeps all over the world. Also, got Matza there, who's um, in Europe. I do believe there's a few guys um, in obviously Australia and <coughs> South Africa and stuff like that as well around. Obviously, most of them will be probably asleep by now. Um, are we all modders? For the most part, yeah. Obviously, there is a few guys who mainly focus on the streaming side of things rather than the mod mod modding side of stuff. Obviously, myself, I do a little bit. I don't think stones were showing up there before, were they? Um, they were when they were. They were just all you know, a ton of them. Obviously, Dash has been modding since I think it's FS thirteen, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. Yep, there you go. Um, JD Fan, obviously, he helps with a bit of moddering, moddering, modding in the background. Obviously, this is the first thing he's really re released, I suppose. So yeah, you, all yep. you guys. So, but yeah, I think he's done a pretty amazing job at that convert converting the map over. Um, yeah, so not not too bad. But yeah, well. I think we'll dabble a little bit, I suppose, because obviously we're all on PC as well, which does help. Um, Looking good there, still. Oh. England to southeast. Ah, okay. Nice. Um, a bit of a game player. Yep. Yeah, we all do a probably a little, <coughs> little bit of um, moderate um, modding. That's for sure. A little bit of capacity here, a little bit of capacity there. And obviously hats off to you too, uh, Matza. Obviously if you're not aware, obviously there is in FS19 the FSL, which is the Farm Sim League. And Matza there is obviously one of the guys who does that. Which is pretty cool. I think I got it. If you don't get round to figuring out Looks like the it. Yep. machine today, it's all good. Not sure what that's about, but okay. Are you working on a milling machine, NBC? And that, did that require a new save? This is a new one. Yeah. Well, you replaced the density map stone file in your save game. Right. Yeah, you could do that. Might have stepped away for a sec. Yep. Um, seated player now. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nice one. Uh, 31. <coughs> so, to answer your question there, JD, I've been going over the same spot with uh, plow, rock pick, plow, rock pick. Mm -hmm. Same corner of the field. And it does seem like it's like they almost like did a spray paint speckle across the field and those are the spots that can show up rocks in the different sizes right yep so see that's yeah that's what they did I, here I, i've got one spot or a couple of spots where the rocks show up oh, and sure they can be small medium or large but they're only in those same spots yeah i'd say 31 grand for a telehandler is pretty good considering like obviously you've seen just there um, depending on which one you went for, you got seventy-two thousand and ninety-one. So you get it at half price. I'd imagine it's probably that one that you're talking about, which is quite a nice little telehandler. Obviously, the one that I've got at the minute is the J JCB version. This guy here, but any of them are pretty good, to be honest. Um, can someone? In yeah, if you do exclamation mark raiders in chat, you can get a link to the current battle. Obviously, got 52 seconds roughly there. There we go, bad thanks very much. Uh, see you all later, lunch is over. Okay, Tadpole. We'll catch you later. So yeah, they've... They must have some way of, uh, of generating it or something.
Well, I think what they did is they spec they somehow yeah generated you're right that map that density map with yeah. Right. So we just got to duplicate it four times. So the field and get that lot now. Yep, I think we got it. Mm-hmm. How's it looking? Looking wonderful. Yep, we got it. And does it need another save or, or a fresh start? You could copy the density map stone file blank one in. Save just... game. Yeah, well, it's not going to be a blank one. It's going to be the one from the... Right, yeah. right. But, I mean, it won't have stones on the fields. Right. It's going to reset your stones on the field. Yeah, at all. Which is... Well, that's nothing really, is it? Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, to, 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 to prove out the point, if you look right there in front of the tractor, there's, like, six or so speckles, uh, a group of, like, four, one further out, and then a couple of other ones. I'll run over it. There we go. It's good luck, guys. Wow. <coughs> and then go back over it with the plow and they're going to show up in the same exact spot again. Gets that in a sec there, Scary. Um, yeah, definitely agree. Because there's going to be one that shows up directly to the uh, to the side of where that orange... See? Same yep. slots. Yep. So, so they are predetermined spots that they'll show up. These predetermined spots, and then the size depends on what you did for a process. Because this one spot has shown up every single time next to that flower. Yep. There we go. Congratulations. Well done. That's even a bit too easy, really. And fuzzy chicken. And chill will. Getting a little extra something there. Um, when does it snow? It'll be sort of December. End of the year through to about February, I think it was, on my last uh, playthrough there. I had a bit of snow. Um, let's collect that quickly and we'll get... Uh, oh, let's go for something a little bit harder. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can do that, hey. It's going to be a bit of a tough one, guys. So, let's go for something a little bit tougher. Let's get this guy out. My little raccoon. There we go. So I've just got the link in the chat for any of you guys who want to join in. You're more than welcome to. While you guys are placing your units down, I'm going to go back to my gameplay. So, um, buh, 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 buh. yeah. So Anthony, definitely a lot better in 22 base game wise than 19. Obviously, got all the production side of things that's now been added. So it's literally like having a PV map base game, which is absolutely amazing. Um, obviously regarding, where was it? Telehandle bits and pieces. Tools, there we go. So, so, if I show you what I've got currently for my telehandler tools, um, here we go. So obviously I've gone for a bucket just for a quick clean up type of stuff. I've got the bill forks for it, the, the pallet forks I should say, rather than bill. Um, I will be getting some more um, bags, so I've gone for the double bag lifter, which is on the um, S the, the SGA, the in-game mod hub for that. And then obviously I've got the bale fork as well for doing any bale moving and such. That's what I would probably recommend at least. Obviously depending on your style of play as well, it could vary. But to be honest, there is quite a limit of stuff. Obviously, this guy's for logging. If you're going to do logging, definitely use that. Um, I'm not really sure about that, to be honest, whether I'd use that. I'd rather just use the bucket. Obviously, you can use that if you want to. I've, I've tried using that, the round bill handler, but I always found it a bit tricky, personally. And what's that? There we go. So, Moki, thank you very much for the epic tank. Grabby Latouche for the epic diamond... Uh, glitched paladin and the links for the epic archer. Wow, that's, this is going to be an awesome, awesome raid already. Just reading them. Uh, should I get rid of this mod as an error in it? It's 
only issue is there's mining production in the tippers. I want that cause lag. Um, personally, if it's got errors, I'd definitely get rid of it. If you can find something to put the mining products into, um, even temporarily. Obviously, the way FS22 works, you shouldn't get too much lag issues when it's in the trailer anyway. But yeah, obviously depending on what is throwing off the errors, some worse than others, but obviously I try and keep a clean log. A few um, warnings is about it currently in my log, but that's only for unzips and um, mods that I've been working on. Is it Groundhog Day? No, actually. <laughs> also Am I repeating no. yesterday all over again? Nope. Well, what happened? It's a good day. It's no. A good day. I ordered my groceries, you know, because I'm out of caffeine products. It's like very Pepsi. much a stretch, by the way. Um, I had uh, six two liters of Pepsi uh, on there, and they said that they were picked, and then they got here, and oh, I had to refund them because they wouldn't let me scan them. What? Mike Serum. You couldn't thousand. scan them. Thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, follow. Sounds like somebody's How you doing? being lazy. And welcome. Right. And I'm going to redeem that stretch for you, mate. Dave, I, I sent you that file. Uh, do yep, a double thank one, you. Because I think I missed that last one as well. I did, did it work, JD? There we go. Yes, it Here worked. Sure. That off. Oh, thank you very perfect. much. He might want that file too. <laughs> Please. Right then. Yep. If you don't mind. I need caffeine. You're from Poland? Oh, nice. Welcome, mate. Yep, I'm obviously in the UK. We've got guys in America here, Australia, you name it. As well as um, Europe itself. Um, I want st Stone File 2. Ro Reliant Robin Crew. Oh. Don't know why I'm doing that, because I'm full up. And let's take a slight detour this time and go over there, that side. Obviously I'm trying to stay off other people's fields if I can. And drive a little bit more realistically. When on roads. Here we go. Um, yep, there we go. So we've got... Mm, Mother trucker there, who's obviously in the U.S. as well. And bye bye, Mike Serum. Thank you very much for popping in there, mate. Much appreciated. You're always welcome back anytime, mate. That's for sure. Obviously, if any of you guys have got any questions, you're more than welcome to throw it in chat. We'll try and get it answered for you. And Grey Gamer UK, thank you very much for that follow. Much appreciated. How you doing? I just found a new favorite mustard. Oh yeah, what's that then? Uh, Bavarian mustard. Ooh. I got one of those uh, packs with cheeses and summer sausage and crackers for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and it come with Bavarian mustard, and it's like a uh, Dijon mustard with a honey um, taste to it. It's really good. You gotta try it. Hmm. That does sound. Might good. have to look into that. Hey there, mate. How you doing, it's Mr. Scurvy? Hi, I'm joining us in chat oh. now too. Hey, um, Scurvy. How's it going? Oh, it's you rough. Yeah, let's yeah. not go there, Quacky Chan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bean dealer. How you doing? And welcome back. Um, what's your question, mate? What's your question? Best way of making money on FS. Um. Oh, heck. I will tell you, Rails. I'm impartial. I would say silage, silage. to start off with. Yeah, Rails. it seems to yep. be a common thing, really, isn't it? Is you bail, uh, silage bales and stuff, and silage. Bean dealer's got a good question, Billy. Um, 
Hang on. You better get this right. So, what will the winning lottery numbers be next week? I have no idea. I don't do the lottery. And I've only ever done it once. But if you want some random numbers, I can throw them out there if you, if you want. Obviously, I do want a good share. Oh, like 50 50. Yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, I can't foretell the future yet. But what was well, quite weird. You best get on that. I was yeah. going to say, you need to start making a mod for that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's more Dave's thing, sort of scripts, isn't it? It's something you used to do. Scripts? Yeah, <laughs> your, your, your past. My past? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know about your past, mate. Uh, uh, is, I pay attention to streams now, or uh, I, I pay I pay attention to streams, and what people say. Did I make uh, a certain yeah. little um, enterprise you used to do with casinos and such? Oh, the 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 software that I made yeah. back then. Oh That'd yeah. Good yeah, I can I can do that. Yeah, that's okay. different. That's that's not. <laughs> that's not foolish. for telling the future. <laughs> no, it's for it's for. But I tell you, I made some software that would track my uh, online poker playing. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and determine which days and you know just basic stats where which right. which sites I played better on, which days and which time of days I played better on because it tracked my gameplay, and I was able to turn around. You know, there were certain places that were just easier to win. And certain time slots that different people would get on that weren't as intelligent, and I would play in those time slots and I would win. Yeah. Back when I was about 17 years old, I wrote a program to where I input the data from the the horse racing tracks on all the all the past statistics for the horses, and then I let the program pick my uh, bets based on the weather conditions and everything, the current conditions and everything. And that was pretty good too. There you go, guys. That's quite cool, actually. I can never do that sort of programming type thing. You know, I've tried to do. Yeah, it, I've always been one of those. That's when I had gambling habits, though. Uh, but hey, if you're winning, it's not that bad of a habit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I had to find a way to make it so you could win a little bit better. I was, just, I was just gonna say until until they claim you're cheating somehow, and then you um, right go 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 spend some time with the fishes. Well, yeah. the dog track was interesting one because I wrote the program for doing dog races up at up at that Green Mountain Raceway up there in Vermont. Oh, then I know I exactly where that is. Yeah, and ever then I realized that I I got some inside intelligence from somebody that was a greyhound owner. And this person told me that, watch this dog. He's, I know the owner. It's going to win. It's going off at 99 to 1. I'm like, 99 to 1? What makes... He goes, because it hasn't raced in a few months. And what the, the owners would do is trim the dog's toenails so it couldn't go around the corners until the odds get really high. And then they pull them out of the races like they're go and then they let their toenails grow back and then they would uh be able to dig into the corners yeah. sure enough that dog would win the dogs would win so i just started playing all the 99 to one odd dogs and almost once every single time it would come in and man if you got if you got your money on the 99 to one odds and there's only do the math you only have to win one race <laughs> There you go, buy me. You know, all the tricks of the trade, eh? And yeah, hey, it, would, um, it was crooked. Yeah, it's definitely a problem when you start losing. That's for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> who determined toenails? Yeah, well, it, it made sense because they would be going around those corners, those greyhounds, so fast, and they wouldn't be. They would just lose traction. Well, if their toenails weren't nice and long and sharp, you know, they wouldn't be well, able to dig in. So, There's certain things that uh, yeah. um, they do with horses and stuff too. Oh yeah, the especially you could see it at the harness track up there mm -hmm. in Saratoga. 
I mean, I grew up in that area, so all three, the Saratoga Raceway, the Saratoga Harness Track, and the Green Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, as a kid, that, that's where I spent my money. <laughs> yeah, so if you want Inter any hints and tips on how to um, win a racer or something like that for betting, just ask Dave. He knows all the tricks of the trade and what to look for just, and such. Uh, so, yeah. There were things. I've, I haven't done that stuff in a long time. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably changed since then as well now. Oh, yeah. I don't think that they get away with that. At the, I don't even think that dog track's open anymore. Green Mountain Raceway. Okay, bad. Um... I feel like Pete Rose. <laughs> hey, GB. Kumar, it's how are you doing? It's uh, oh, Farmer sorry, Nom, or Nom, thank you very much for the follow there. Sorry, go for it. No, nope, it's, it's... I doubt how many people actually know that name there, Dave. Pete that's Rose? Back, Pete Rose, that's going back a few years. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> yep. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I thought the I, coach, but he made no, it not yet. Not yet. Poker. I think he's still banned. But I don't know if that was fair. Oh, nice. He was the only one that got caught. <clears throat> yeah, but he never threw a game. No, he never threw a game. And, and that's everything. the difference. He would put himself into bat if he was losing his bets. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yep. Which would uh, hey. If you guys aren't going to get that run in, I'm going to do it myself because I got a million dollars on this. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's a different difference a little bit there. Now, if he was in there well, and he was betting on the other team and and making plays so that his team would purposely lose so he could collect on it, that's a different story. Right. Well, it's no different than Shoeless Joe Jackson with the Black Sox there. You know, no nobody could ever prove that he knew anything about it. Yeah. And he ended up getting banned from baseball because of it. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if you got it. They got blacklisted, so blacklisted, nobody wanted yeah. anything to do with them. Where the others actually took money. He never had any any part of it. Right. So. Yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, um, Scurvy. Mr. Bad Lad has a little sword next to his name now. Oh, boy. Billy put him to work. Yep. Well, I thought, well... Since 22 he's come out, over he has channels. been yep. every, everywhere, and obviously he's helped out so much. Um, obviously with the auto drive routes and mm -hmm. just lots yep. of information. He's like a mini mini KW. I'm so back. yes, I thought it's so, about time to give him some. Yep. Why would you say mini mini KW? Are you saying he's a big guy? Well, I'm thinking KW's like KW any. Then you got me. Who I suppose I'm the mini, and then obviously you got Bad Lad, who's the new guy on the the the, the, the block, who's the mini mini KW. Mm. But no, he's not a big guy. I don't know. He might be a big guy. And uh, I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce that. So, un U N D F. Thank you much for the follow there. If there's an easier way to obviously say in your name, please pop it in chat. I call him Loco. Loco? Okay. Yeah, I see it on the end there. There we go. Let's bring this around. Put it away now. Hammeronic, thank you very much for the follow there, bud. Much appreciated. And the gamer guy, how you doing, bud? Um, of course, KW is the big guy. All legends are big. Yeah. <laughs> Local works. Okay, cool. Um, um, not all legends are, are big. Dave's a legend, but he's not big. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working he's on it. A little, he's just a little duffer. There we go. You're not a legend not until legend. you can sign your autograph and sell it. Oh, true. That's what I. That's my new determination. Without it being on a check. <laughs> oh, 
I was going to say, well, I can write checks. <laughs> yeah. When I can give out prizes on my prize wheel and it just says an autograph from Dave, then... <laughs> <laughs> and, pe and people are excited to win them, then I've made it to the top. <laughs> I don't know. Bless him. I don't think I'm gonna get that in Farm Sim, though. <laughs> Just saying. You never know. Yep. If you want an autographed copy of my map on CD-ROM, I'll be happy to send it to you for a charge of forty-nine <laughs> Can't do that. It's against the ter terms of service. <laughs> you can win an autograph. Ooh, somebody wants one. Yeah, kill them all. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay shipping. <laughs> Can it be on a postcard? What the heck? You pick one item and it's freaking replaced! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yelling at my grocer. What the <laughs> heck? There you go, everybody wants Dave's autograph. Look at that, nice. You better get say, some... Uh... Okay, what's going on with this? Don B saying he wants an autograph copy of the old PB County to-do list. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I don't know if I could pull that list up. It's all scribbled on now. Crossed off most of it. Grabby said dinner with Dave for 50 bucks. You pay for dinner. Dave at this point is probably a pretty Dave. cheap date. <laughs> anybody can have dinner with Dave if they're buying the dinner. That's as simple as that. And my dinner. <laughs> oh, that's good, Mata. Anybody can have a drive with Dave in his new car as long as they buy him the new car. <laughs> yep. Driving Mr. Dave, the next movie for the SGA. <laughs> oh, they should do that, shouldn't they? Boomhauer will be the driver. <laughs> oh. oh no, no. <laughs> Dave will be in the back seat. Hey, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> Your other right, right. <laughs> oh, I'm just imagining that now. That's terrible. There we go. Um. Working, but I'm having some kind of problems. Do you? Do I need to do anything? So when you download the f the file, what you'll need to do is unzip it. And then, actually, within that, you're going to have a lot of, of the map and a lot of mods that you need to move out of the folder and put into your um, mod folder itself before you can actually run the game, or the map, I should say. Also, if you're not using the mod folder switcher at the minute, You'll have to go into your default folder, which is in Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2022. Then look for a folder called Mod Folder. Or Mods, I think it is, actually. Oh. They've got the Pepsi. Thank you. Well, I said that last time. Didn't show up. Be sad if they replaced it with Coke. No, that's not one of the options. Oh, okay. I have replacements selected. You can replace my <laughs> two liters with six packs, or even individual cans, but you cannot replace it with Coke. <laughs> Bottles, cans, are acceptable. See, I prefer it in bottles and cans. 
you know, it's cheaper if I buy two liters. It is. It is. That makes That's sense. That's right. I'm cheap. I like it in the bottles. I will get the bottles when I have to, but... Actually, I can't remember the last time I had Coke and stuff like that. I don't drink it Oh anymore. my gosh. More coffee nowadays. <coughs> coffee, I... well, they keep... I've got some of that on this order, too. Let's see if they get any. It's always replaced. It's like there's a coffee drink shortage. I'm gonna have to buy my coffee maker. I just didn't want to spend that much money on one. Well, Cappuccino use... maker. Oh my, whose is it? Is it Yosho or Darius? Is um. Oh yeah, Player One coffee. Player One, yeah. Player One. Oh yeah, I'll order the coffee, but I gotta get. I want to get a cappuccino maker so I can make iced coffees and cappuccinos. All oh, right, yeah. Because I don't drink hot coffee. It's I'll tell you what, chilled. that Leroy Jenkins hit the spot this morning. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I, well, but I want the one I wanted was Christmas time. It was 400 bucks. The the coffee ninja, you know. Um, they have others out there that are just as good, and they just don't hold the ninja name. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. The different brands. And, yeah. I'll have to. Yeah, it's Dave's shopping list. Um, what did we get? Yeah, my shop second one of the day because I screwed up the first one. I didn't get caffeine, so if I sound grumpy. So it's a bad time to ask about an update. Just had a cup from McDonald's. Yep. Yeah. Me no, doing an update for you to put it up. Oh, that's for true. For me to put up, you're doing an update for me to put up. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get it ready. What are you doing? Okay. Just the map file? Oh, that's what I'm doing. The whole thing again. See, what do you think? Next, I would mind trying hmm. that player one. Actually, coffee. We can't get it over here. That's a good question because you, you would have to do the whole thing for the website. How do you get the Wolf Creek map mods? I would think. So at the minute, um, it's not available. Yeah, they're not available. Also, if you're on PV Uncharted, the, the there is going to possibly be an update coming shortly for the map. Um, Mod-wise, it'll be in the same folder as the map, but also on the SGA website, there is. Some equipment that oh, that deer just ran right through my building. Um, some equipment that I've actually edited to run on Wolf Creek, along with, and obviously Uncharted as well. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Obviously the map yeah. at the minute, Wolf Creek itself is still in beta testing. And Mr. Yeah, and Hello. it won't be up on the Giants in Game Mod Hub because yeah. we. Have the way too many extra pieces. Yeah, obviously with the way the size of it and what's in there, it, it pro will never be re put up on the SG, um, in game mod hub, unfortunately. Who knows, maybe one day we'll do a little 4x, uh, 1x map, maybe. Again. Obviously, I know in 19 he did um, a PV maybe. map, you never know. I never did a 4x since 13. I mean, a yeah. single size. Yeah, well, she, there, was there, there you go. For ex there he is. I love Mr. Jab. I'm more inclined to do a 64x in a single size. Yeah. Unless Giants wants me to do one for them, then I'll I'll gladly do a single size map oh, if I get a um, if I get a portion Mr. of the proceeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, RV Park UK. Thank you very much for the follow, mate. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. And as always, if you've got any questions, you're more than welcome to pop it in chat. As long as it's not oh. about the lottery numbers or you're going to be the winning horse at the Grand National, or whatever, yeah. And okay, you get it. Fracturi Toad. Oh, Toad. Thank you very much for the follow there. 
Yay, they got the coffee drinks. Not a lot of them, but, you know. Here we go. Buy them all. Get them all. Oh, I gosh. did. Uh, got all that they had. I don't know if T. Miller has got his internet back yet. I don't I know. Don't I think so. don't know. Uh, haven't heard haven't from, heard from, from yeah, T. Miller okay. since last night. Dave, why did you edit this, um, the in-game trailer? It holds fuel now. I wanted something a little bit bigger that was not as expensive as the really big one. That's all. Um, not the there? small, tiny one. And not the super large one. Ah, okay. That Billy had something that halfway... 8,000 liters, I think. Yeah, obviously. Um, what one have I got anyway? It's the, the MKS, whatever it's called. The big boy. MKS 32 is the one I've got. He's got the big one, so I just yeah. did one that's included in my map. That. But mine's just special because it's got little logos on the back. Yeah. Mm. Well, I wasn't... To, to be honest with you, when I did it, I wasn't sure that that old fuel tape tanker the missile one under miscellaneous could actually tip into the triggers of the factories oh. because it never could before oh <laughs> yeah the this guy yeah. yeah so so i made the other one before even testing it just to find out the other one worked actually another set of trailers are these guys the ab that came out with the last patch which yeah. was quite nice as well but they don't hold yeah they don't hold they only hold water. Well, at the minute. Right. Um, Grabby Tush just. Uh, thank you, Grabby the Tush, for the epic uh, custom rogue. Interesting. We might see what some of these guys look like. I was trying to mod the French map to make the beginner farm separate of the, f of the field. Getting, couldn't get it to work. Yeah, I read that, mate. I haven't. I haven't actually played on that map yet. Um, personally, if it was me, I'd probably just do it in-game itself and do a little bit of landscaping. Try and do it that way. And it looks like the battle is ready to go. The only map I've played <coughs> so far, obviously, is El, um, El, Elm Creek, and obviously now Wolf Creek. And there we go. And Welsh dude, thank you very much for the follow there. Much appreciated. And let's jump over to Stream Raiders and get this battle going. And we have 65 units down on the ground. That is impressive, guys. Let's have you. Oh, come on, my mouse is playing up. There we go. Alright, good luck, guys. Here we go. And Killmore coming in with 10 gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. My goodness, you dude are amazing. You know that? Obviously, if you're in chat, please give a big thank you to Killmore for the gifted sub. There we go. Let's get this guy going. Wow. Amazing. I got my... Yeah. I kind of knew that last one was going to be awful shopper anyway. You can tell. This one's going to be good. It looks good.
Congratulations. Wow, you guys are absolutely amazing. And we've got Villino, Wolfie, and Bean Dealer getting a little something extra there. Wolfie's still out there. Yeah, he's, but he's lurking me. away. Bless him. There we go. He's been here in and out all day, really. Yep, there he is in the chat as well. <laughs> yeah, Wolfie says he's hey, been Wolfie. feeling better. Oh, that's good. Well, that good, good to good. hear. You gave there it to scurvy. <laughs> right, looks like I've got a couple of guys to upgrade, so let's do you. Hey, KW, how you doing? Yeah, got that. Hey, hey KW. KW, welcome back. Hey, KW. Plunger, welcome, mate. Yeah, what they said, KW. Um, can... <laughs> there we go, there we go. Oh, that looks good to me. Just got the two outstanding to unlock. But we're getting there slowly. But yeah, well done all you guys. Right then, let's go for something a bit simpler. Let's go for that guy there. Obviously, this is going to be the last one for today. And let's drop down a penguin as it's Christmas. There we go. So if any guys want to join any more, welcome to the links in chat. We have 30 minutes on the clock for that. And obviously, this will be the last one for today. And let's change that around, change that around. Well, I don't know. We Have we seen Wheels yet? He's next up. I was just going to say, has yeah. anybody seen Wheels? Not yet. Wheels, oh. you lurking? I could be cheeky and lurking. Wait a minute. Was that him? Uh, no, that was Big Daddy. Oh, um, that's that's Big Daddy. Um, hey, little Big Daddy. I I'd seen a I video guess. the other day about the Z690 hero boards that he got having fire issues. And Jay's Two Cents put out a video today following up on that one with uh, how to tell whether or not your your board might be okay or not. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I saw on Amazon last night they must have extended my return period. Uh, I'm just going to end up returning it because, honestly, getting the memory is... <laughs> I was going to say, at this point, if it's you're, still if you're between those two things, the notes yeah, for it. <laughs> it's not even open. Like I said, the box... Is still, I was going to check, like you said, it's check the capacitor which way it's mounted. But I'm looking at the box, it's still sealed. It's still a little black sticker still sealed on it. Like, I'm not even going to bother. Like, I'm just going to return the freaking thing. It when it has DDR4 support. I was going to say, at this point, you're going to probably save a ton of money on the DDR4 versus DDR5. Yeah, and a performance increase is not there, so. Ben, uh, thanks for the shut up. Buddy. Yeah, very negligible, if anything. Yeah. No, no I'm just going to, with all everything's going on, nah, I, I saw the little simple little mistake. I'm like, all right, well, I can look at that. I still need memory. I'm like, that. I looked at Amazon, and for some reason I thought it was only 30 days, and here it's through January 31st of next year. Like, easy choice. Score! Yeah, Done. easy choice. There we go. How you feeling, Big Daddy? Get better, man. I don't sound much better, but the, the mornings are rough, the nights are rough, but in between is, is better. Still breaking his fever every morning, every night. I'm breaking a fever, unfortunately. Oh, get there. Hey, get up you. My wife still has a fever. My son has a fever, but uh, kids are great. Like I said, kids, you know, you know if something's wrong with them. He's just cracking along. Mm-hmm. But we'll get there one day at a time. Please don't destroy it. <laughs> What's it mean, Matza? I didn't destroy the website. <laughs> I proved it. My mod's up there. It's still good. 24 hours later. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to back I it up again today. I did oh, feel bad we, though. I'm like, really? It's like I literally, literally we, we, did, we didn't tell you. It's it was really taken down. It, you just think it's there. Oh, geez. Dave didn't want to take the chance. <laughs> we put we gave you a different URL. It goes to a, your own place. Oh jeez. No. <laughs> you would have had timeout order. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's all right. It's not not the first time. It won't be the last. I'm sure. Yeah, that's some craziness on it for how expensive that motherboard is, and they made a simple little mistake. And the guy, the other guy that J Two Cents references, he seems very knowledgeable. I never heard of the guy, and he went through explained how it could happen. There's a tech worker there that explains how it happened. Basically, long story short, he said because they're trying to push out production so fast that they're lowering the Q and A standards. I'm like, well, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll that'll get you every single time. Yeah, so it's just surprising with a company like Asus. So I mean, they're one that. I, yeah. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm shocked they haven't made any announcement on their site at all about it. They're hush, which is bad. 
Well, uh, I think Jay in the original video had mentioned that they were exchanging boards for people. Right, um, but they're still bad. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know how the how it is. The minute this happens, there has to be an investigation. Lawyers get involved, yeah. oh, and okay, they Catch have to later, draft mate. a statement. Have right. a good night, Pompies. 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 You know how that goes. Now, now the lawyers are involved, so they have to. You know, they end up drafting the statement that says, "Eh, all right." Well, actually, you know, you have Jababo at three o'clock. Uh, got anyone to step in? Of course. Ah, uh, maybe Scurvy might be able to pop on. I don't know. Huh? If we all no, turn just... up, I can. Um, if you need me, I jump in. Jababo. So Babo, yeah. I think, is on the oh, schedule oh. at the same time. Yeah. 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 Oh, is he? Okay. okay. Maybe. So you'll have one or the other. I, I was going to say, Scurvy uh, might be down for the count here soon. Uh-oh. No, Scurvy. Not to... Scurvy got a test? What's the matter? Not feel good, bud? Let me have a uh, phone quickly. See what's going on. Woke up so uh, yesterday says, morning. So Ryan K should be up. Um, wheels and Babo, obviously. Yeah. Don't we've got plenty of cover there. All right. Uh, no big daddy. Uh, woke up yesterday morning. Lost sense of smell, have you taste, seen and the fever. Farm ghost. Mm. Not yet. Um, Are we? Yeah, I haven't seen any farm ghosts yet. Plenty of deers and stuff around. I'll well, start here, Scurvy. We'll feel better, buddy. So uh, thanks. Tea, warm tea. Um, yep. Afrin for breathing. If you need to get, open your nostrils up. Uh, Advil for pain. Yep. Hot showers for when you're cold. Cold showers yep. when you're hot. Warm blanket in the bed. I mean, it's um, yeah. It's the simplest thing I can I give suggestions on. And lots of water. Uh, if you have yep. smart water, uh, it's the way to go. If you don't have that handy, then. Uh, I've got Gatorade and stuff like that. Okay. For electrolytes and stuff like that. So yep, stay I can't hydrated. taste any of it. But, I yeah. I know. Yep. Same. Uh, scurvy. Just. Yep. Uh, in case things do hit you, I will plan on the next couple of mornings being around in case you, cool. uh, yeah, I you you gonna... are out for the count or you start to lose your voice or something like that. Yeah, I think we're gonna take my. What? What's the next time I'm supposed to stream anyway? Uh, tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. Yeah. You're on the schedule. If you could cover me for that, uh, there's no way. Yeah, right and then I, I know you're on at four on Friday as well. But like I said, it's I'm usually yeah. up anyway, so in the event. Yeah. Let me see how I feel tomorrow because I am off on Friday, so I have to work tomorrow, be it from home. So, and yeah, waiting on the results of the COVID test, so we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's going to stay positive, but yeah, well, you know, you know how that goes. If you are starting to feel under the weather, it's better to concentrate on getting better than it does to push yourself. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, exactly. Make sure that you're feeling better. Also, we can you know what fight. You I'm covered. I was going to say, you know what happened to Wheels when he tried to push it to get back and suddenly. Yep. Yeah. Drop out there for now. Get an oxygen meter. I have a O2 stat on my uh, Apple Watch. Yeah. So if I notice my O2's going, O2 stats are going down, then, then different change of plans. Yep. Well, that, that is one good benefit of the, the the smartwatches and stuff like that, where they keep your pulse and yep. all those goodies. <laughs> At least I was good. You can go for another 20, I wish. Yeah, Billy sounds the best out of all of us, for sure. Yes, right now he does. I sound like crap <coughs> yesterday every time I try to correct it. Again, uh, oh, yeah, I'm really ill. Uh, oh, jeez, uh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I can't even remember the last time I was actually ill, even with a cold. Oh, so got, had no sniffle, but that's about it. Yep. You just jinx yourself now, though. I you was just going right? to say, better knock on some wood or something. <laughs> uh, I find chicken soup, freshly made chicken soup, is the best for any cold. Yep, I agree. I got to order some of that. I always find that blackberry brandy helps me. Order Step it. down a bottle. <laughs> I'll take a few bottles of that. Yeah, just something to kind of warm you up on the inside. Yeah. I went to the local Chinese restaurant and got wonton soup. Oh. Uh, I like egg drop soup better. Garlic and ginger. Hopper is Ooh, yeah. I'd take that out, mate. Yeah, definitely get rid of that.
Well, I, I doubt that highly there, bad lad, because, um, there's plenty of us that don't ever really leave or go out or do anything such. <laughs> We've got Dave. Dave's our backup man. Me. I never leave the there house. Yep. Well, and then you, you look at the flip side, someone like me, who has been out, I mean, been to just about every hospital in the area, everything else from the beginning, and, uh, I've only had uh, flu-like symptoms once there, and that was the day after I got the flu shot. Yeah, and that's kind of normal. Yeah. <clears throat> it's all those yummy MRE stuff they give you. <laughs> well, it's either that or, you know, the 40 million shots that I've received over the years for everything from anthrax to, you know, Jeez. you name it. <laughs> right. Typhoid. Yeah. Uh, smallpox, you know, I mean... Oop. Somewhere along the way, there had to be a, been a concoction that would kill COVID in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just by mistake, even. It probably makes a spam with an anthrax shot. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> Spam's amazing. I agree. It is. I agree. You gotta is... be cooked right, and it's good. Is that update for Uncharted out yet? No. No? Okay. So, just so you know, um, where was it? Da -da -da -da, tech mic. It'll be uh, fixed to hopefully sort out this stone issue on, on Uncharted. Of course, once it's released, we'll, we'll let you guys know anyway. Come on, shit in. No. What's the problem? Stones. Yeah, they, they weren't appearing outside of certain areas, and in the process of figuring that out, um, well, some spectacular things happened. <laughs> and Mudslinger Gaming, how are you doing, mate? Welcome back. Let's just say, if you ever find anybody that you dislike and you want to give them, I don't know, enough stone coverage so that it looks like snow, just let us know. We know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Oh, jeez. Oh, well, yeah, J JD took the iconic stone picker down field four on Uncharted. One pass with low level, with the uh, small stones and had over 17,000 liters of stone. Uh, Mucky, thank you very much for that epic bronze ancient rogue. Yeah, first plowing was light stones, second one was large st or medium stones, and then after that came large stones every time. So there is a milling machine already out, Tech Mike. Um, uh, Try to where I've seen it. Farms, farming Simulator 22 mods website, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, but the problem is it's not set. Up, it's not set up to pick up the mining products. Well, uh, I looked at it last night. It is set to bulk the same as the mining products. So there's something else wrong with it. I'll have to have a look at it because also I've, I had to play with the 19 one. I have yeah. one working. I use um, the game. I don't know. Da, da, da. Should yeah. be any different. Let me see what this is called here. What version it is? Um, yeah, because uh, uh, I downloaded the one last night, and it is set to bulk, yeah, which 1. the mining 0. materials are too. Yeah, one point is what I have the milling machine. Did you unfold Green it? Green looking. At curiosity, because you have to unfold the header for it to be able to use it. I know the 19 version, which is identical, that I played with. You have to unfold the header to then be able to use it. And obviously you have to on the land as well. Yes. Yeah. And the tipper yeah. trailer that you you has to accept the product that you're trying to put in it, too. Yeah, obviously if it's set yeah. to bulk and it's in the map is bulk, then it should pick it up. Yeah, I was using a one for Sam last night. Uh, yeah. Basically have the man truck with that... Uh, that attacher for the front of the man truck yep. with a snowblower yeah. and on a trailer it worked great. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, D double check your trailer. Oh yeah. I'm using uh because if you use a grass trailer it's not gonna work. Yeah, no. Yep, no. exactly. So if you got like the, the, the bypass is they're yeah. actually set up um for instance these two guys these are both set to bulk so they'll be able to fit in there. But what you'll need to find um, I'd imagine that would probably take it. 
Let's have a look. Yeah, the as, cra- yeah, the as cramp long as it use. says yeah. as long as it says bulk on it, you'll be good. Yeah, well, see if you because look, that's what the mining products are. If you, if you look at the bottom and actually scroll across here, guys, now if you see the mining products, if you're on like say Uncharted or Wolf Creek it will accept it so obviously this guy here the side dump will take it now the only thing i don't know is you can't hook them up can you be quite nice if there was like a, a hook on the back there for doing multiple trails. oh yeah a, a plate to do a, yeah. a, a second trailer behind it that would be the, nice uh, road trains the randon dumpers on the uh yeah game mod hub have randons that. take it yeah um, large do. capacity sort of stuff so I see. Yeah, that one with the load king will do it. So that guy. Yeah, use the crampy crampy SKS thirty slash ten fifty works great for the mining products. Yeah, it, it is so yeah. nice that they made that scroll now, so you can actually see what in the heck goes yeah. off the yeah, edge cool. of them. Yep. Yeah. That um, <laughs> a very nice little change. Yeah, the super B will take it as well. Obviously, this. I just like the cramp because of the end dump. I I, I'm not a big fan of the belly dumps. I like the end dumps, so that's why I've been using that I for the mining product. I still need to play around with this one. This is the one that Shy was um, um, converted over for me. And he said, nice. do some of that. But yeah, I will get around to doing that. But yeah, anything that's set to bulk will accept all the mining material or whatever. Um, I'm missing there. I'll have to convert my milling machine. Oh yeah, Winston said that he's got a milling machine that he's going to convert as well. I think he said it was had a bit, a bit slightly bigger pickup as well. Uh, uh, have any of you guys thought about making a steel factory mod? Smelter is small. Obviously, at the minute, this smelter is kind of like a small um, production factory. There probably will be something bigger coming out later. Obviously, in 19, we did have this steel factory for the PV map, so it's just obviously we're having to wait on yeah, getting the stuff converted over. You guys, so, are, they're tier one productions. The bigger yeah. stuff is coming. Yeah, Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, exactly. I think the game has only been out for, what, a month now? A month and a bit? So, yeah. And obviously... That's JD why I haven't released release mine, because I don't want a thousand questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and obviously JD this has is all we get. worked a heck of a lot to get it out to you guys. Dave, can you pop down? I could if I wasn't carving a chicken, but you can move oh. me. <laughs> How do I do that? And Priority. yes, everybody, Dave does know Rome wasn't built in the day because he was I will there. Move him so for don't you. question him. Thank that. you. Ouch. <laughs> wow, um, that's harsh. What's the most I found? I had to get that I in before you left. All right, yeah. Yep. John's personally, the only two sites I use is obviously Giants in Game Mod Hub or obviously the SGA website. For getting my mods, I think I've had maybe one or two off of somewhere else, but they ended up being deleted pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I wouldn't know how where to start regarding converting things, so I'm not even going to try, to be honest. Plus, I kind of like what's in game at the minute. I could also do what Big Daddy's done, and obviously take a snow blower and turn that into like a milling machine of sorts. What sheds are those, Billy? This is um really kind of handy ones. Um, it's those that are guy, the, the bulk hull. Yeah, bulk hulls. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't realize that. Okay. I All thought right. they were really quite cool. Those are nice. Yeah, those are really nice to have. 
And obviously, if you wanted to do silage as well, you could maybe do so loose silage in there as well. Yeah. yeah, in in the base game, those were the only ones that you could put root crops into. Yeah. 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 Uh, Storm Cash, how are you doing? Um, hey, I was wondering where is your farm located on Elm Creek? So, this is actually Wolf Creek, okay? And I'm actually on the starter farm. If you go into new player. But what I've actually done... Because obviously I was playing on Elm Creek. I've actually transferred my farm over. So obviously this is the farm area right here. Um, I've basically removed fields 45 and 46. And I've got like a yard area there. Where 44 is. Which is the... Um, a little sort of storage silo area there. 47 I've rem basically removed. And that's where I am at the minute. And then 48 and 49 is kind of the area next to me, just over there, where I've got my greenhouses, animals and everything. But yeah, this is actually Wolf Creek, which is an, a 4X expanded version of Elm Creek by Dagenet, which is currently in testing. I found this gentleman on Facebook and he does mods for FS22, okay. Um, Badlands. Rings a bell, that one. I'll be right back. I recognise that. Ain't no problem. And yeah, I'm doing pretty good, mate. Doing pretty good. Obviously, hopefully in a little while. I'll be obviously wrapping up Stream Raiders. And thank you very much, Max Miser. Yeah, it's Max Miser, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> for that follow there. Much appreciated. How you doing? And obviously, welcome to the channel. Yep, it's here. <laughs> I love how poison is highlighted. Huh? Well, that's the color. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, poison red. Oh, is that your beard dye, is it? Yep, it showed up in the mail today. Oh, so definitely check that Semi permanent out. hair dye. Is that what color he picked? He said red, so my wife found uh, it's called poison red. It's kind of a darker red, but eh, should work all right. So modded trailer-wise, yeah, there's quite a few different trailers on the SGA website now. Okay. Okay, just basically finish up tidying the yard here. Close to time to wrap up. I put it in uh, streamer talk. Oh, come on. Go. I'm not sure when I can fix it. All right, okay. Hey, you have Spock. How you doing, mate? Welcome back. Right. A 
off. If it's just yeah, one, fuck. one little um, error, it shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, the lesser errors you've got, the better, really. Who's getting an error? Um, it is. Heck, where's he gone? Um, Tech Mike. He's been going through all these mods and that, and obviously, a couple of them. Um, it's been thrown errors. So he's got rid of most of the ones that were, but he's still got one showing an error. I don't think it's one uh, of ours. I was going to say, what mod is it? What type of error? If it's a Lua call stack, I'd get rid of it. Because yeah. that will create issues. And it looks like that's what Bad Lad said. Oh, yeah. Or if it's any kind of wheel error or something like that that goes on a vehicle. Uh, customization. Uh, because it'll constantly call that. Yep. Billy, I almost have the second third of the terrain completed. Cool, cool. So by by the time I get home from bowling after being home for a couple of hours, I'll have two thirds of all the terrain done. Uh, it's on the milling machine error. Invalid compound index one. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, that sounds cool. It's on the milling machine? Yeah. Uh, Big Daddy, out of curiosity, you still there? Yes, sir. Cool. On the milling machine that you've got, have you got any errors coming off of it? Let me see. I might have fixed it. Uh, let's see. Where? <laughs> They're back. I do not. I think I did have that error, but I did fix it, yeah. Okay, do you know how to fix it? Is it an easy fix? Uh, let me see here. I remember, that was a while ago. Let me go look see what I did here. Tech Mike, are you any good with a Giants editor? Or in XMLs and such? Oh, I wish I remember correctly, I don't think. I am not good at all with that. No? Okay. I might have used the editor a couple times. <laughs> a couple, two, three thousand no, times. Um, the modern greenhouse is... is nah, I, th I think you need to add a couple of zeros there, uh, NBC. Yeah, probably. So, the, regarding the stored data, that's something in the XML is missing. Or it's not loading up properly. I would imagine. Or the modern script. I don't know, that'd be the XML if it's stored data. Yeah, I had that the other day and I didn't link something properly. Well, look at us when we were putting a store in. We went through every possible scenario to link the thing. That's what it was. <laughs> also, I tried to make it uh, like a placeable mod so I could actually see it in game. So, what I'm yep. thinking now, obviously, if you do want any additional edits done to it, is I might actually just take Dave's map and put it in there. Now that I know how you've linked it, so it should be quite easy to drop straight in. Yeah. Actually, uh, Big Daddy had some good ideas that uh, for oh. that going um, forward. So, uh, da, 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 da. How do you open the auto drive hard? Sorry for asking. I have no idea. I don't even use it. But obviously, the guys in chat do, which is quite lucky. Uh, nope, wheels is okay. Oh, hope wheels is okay. Yeah. Oh, I got a great idea for the vehicle shop. What's that? Put some bales in it. 
That way it'll people oh, won't yeah. notice. No. Oh, oh they, do the they, SBA they, bales. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. that, that, that way they think there's an issue with their map, but it's really just. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 <laughs> oh, that would be cruel. I haven't even used that. How are there bales in my shop? Oh, uh, I could do that. Maybe. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't figure out how to make it randomly generate so everybody's map was different. Yeah, it's in a different place. Oh, that would man. be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess what I'm going to be doing later. You do have a Chipotle went live, so... Okay. And, and Ryan is live over there right now, too. I'm picking oh on gosh. him. Now that he's got his sound straightened out, I can hear him. Ah. <laughs> it's like I, I jumped in first and you, could, you couldn't even hear him. I'm like, oh, why can't I hear you? <laughs> hmm. That's what you get for taking time off, Ryan. Should, should I tell him he, he needs to do like a 72-hour stream to, uh, yeah, to cover for a bit because he hasn't been around? Yep. Yeah, sure. That'd work. We all could Starting do Monday would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Monday's a big gap, so Monday would be good start. Oh, well. Cool. That's a lot better. I like it. So let's just save that quickly, guys. And we'll jump over to Stream Raiders and get that done and dusted. So the final one of the day, 83 units. Wow, holy heck. That is very, very impressive. Thank you, everyone, for that. And let's see how we get on with this one. Good luck, guys. Here we go. It's Saturday. It's starting Saturday, yeah. You looked a little bit OP for that group. So many he people. said he said no to 72, so I told him we we we'd let him do 96 instead. Nah. I have so much bailing to do that by the, out the first one will probably be for a minute before I get the last one done. And congratulations, guys! There we go. <laughs> you could be like NBC this morning and well, should we see? put them all the wrong Pocky size. Chan and oh, Rika them. getting the final rewards there for today. I don't think you can make these. Just a big huge difference. thank you to everyone who's participated in this today. Obviously, we'll be back on Friday for more stream raiders. And who knows, one of the other guys might carry on with that. And I see that Mr. Jababo is up currently. So let me just flick over to the ending screen and get... Da -da 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 -da, wherever the heck is it? Where is it? Where is it? Alert box. Nope, wrong one. Ah, wedges, that's the one I want. And we'll get the end credits going. Da, 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 da. There we go. Hey, Paul, welcome back. Doing good. Just about to jump off now. Amoki, bad. Thank you very much for popping in. So, mm. obviously, there's so many to go through here quickly. So, da, 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 let me scroll down first of all. Right, Too where are we? So we had Mr. Darius Frost starting off with a raid of 167. Thank you very much for that. There's so many followers, it's unbelievable there. But a huge thanks to all everyone who's followed today. Obviously, that's bring me closer to my, obviously my Giants partner goal. Um, and obviously, when that happens, I will be doing a 12-hour stream as a little celebration for that silly um alarms um matt k thank you very much for the bitties wolfies thank you very much for the bitties as well um what else have we got gifted sub from matt to the to the community thank you uh matt sir thank you very much for obviously the 222 bitties there um 
We had. I can never. I say, Killmall gifted you some subs at yeah. one point too. Um, so it's lovely you're working up my list here. Also, we added the raid from Tarog. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm really Tarog. Tarog, is it? Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. Obviously, I think he's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tw off. Tuarog uh, 86 or whatever it is, 68 or something. Yeah, obviously, we've got Killmall resubbing or subscribing for six months on. So that's cool. Um, we've got. Evil Reyes, raiding with party of 20. Thank you very much as well. Da, 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 da. I know there was another one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Killmall, gifting 10 subs to the community. And yeah, so obviously tons and tons of followers. That is absolutely amazing, guys. Cool. But yeah, thank you to everyone who's obviously come in and stuck with me today also we're going to go over and raid mr jababo and i can see he's actually doing a little bit of um bailing himself so obviously please stick around and check mr jab out um let me get this raid going there's jababo right there and obviously the last thing to say is thank you very much guys stay safe and stay well and I will catch you again on Friday, right before Dave goes live. Catch you later, Quacky. Bye See for now. See you guys later. See y'all later. Bye bye. Sayonara. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye, everybody. No. <laughs>